Hello, everybody! It's your favorite married couple, Ethan and Neil Klein. We're basically the perfect relationship, if you didn't already know. I had to just come out and tell you guys. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding because that's what everyone says, and I'm just trying to play it up like, Hey, it's Ethan and Neil the perfect relationship. We just love each other. It's like the YouTube thing, you know? Right. The next day, Here's our happy, beautiful son. Yeah. The, the next video is like, so we broke up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that means the divorce is coming soon. Ethan's going to take over the channel, and Could you think I'll what, take over the second channel. Who do you My think wife would, went out for pizza without me. Yeah, you, <laughs> I know. It's. Who do you think would handle the divorce better, me or you, if we got divorced? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. What kind of question is that? I don't know. It's just a fun. It's just fun. Not good question. Bruh. I just thought it'd be a fun debate. Mm -mm. Okay, now we're really Stop! getting divorced. <laughs> that will never happen. Okay, whatever. But we're here to have fun. What, what kind of intro is this, Ethan? <laughs> exactly. <sighs> okay. We so no, we can't. We're live. There's no retakes here. Welcome, everybody. First of all, thank you to all of our members who make this possible. You know we love our members. We love you. We love you. We love you. You subscribe. You get early episodes. You hit that uh, join button. We love the members. Yes. <laughs> um, okay. is, do we have ads today, Dan? Oh, we sure do. It's not my Did doc. What do we got? You tell. You thank them for me. Today's episode is brought to you by Roman and... Me undies. Ooh, we love them. We love it. Okay, today we've got all kinds of adventures and stories and fun. You know, I've been trying to think because we brought back the normal H3 podcast uh, format this week. How do we di differentiate After Dark live <clears throat> from mm -hmm. the normal episode? Here's the difference. Mm -hmm. After Dark, no COVID talk, no politics. Nothing serious, only fun and raunchy madness. Right. H3 Podcast, that's where my controversial hot takes will come that many of you will watch and be like, you, you'll see either Ethan is out of touch, Ethan is wrong about this topic, Cancel. Ethan is... <laughs> Ethan uh, has <laughs> fallen like for comedy. grace, stick to comedy, etc., yeah. etc. So if you go like all that, that's where you'll find it on the H3 Podcast. You know. <laughs> But yeah, I forgot the, you know, the origins of After Dark was to be the escape, right? So we got to stay true. So here you go. First of all, we have some really important to announce. Speaking of not talking about COVID, Ian has COVID. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have to acknowledge it's not, it. It's actually not funny at all, but that was funny. So sorry, Ian. Ian, how the <laughs> frick? First of all, I'm so sorry. You got, you sent us to the news this morning that you have COVID and I don't understand because you don't, you haven't left your house. I mean, you've been so safe. Yeah, dude, it's like, <laughs> it's a, it's no, a, you got the positive a, up behind you. Oh, no. It's a, it's a certified, certified bra moment for sure. Bra. Uh, what is, so, bruh. okay, so you, was this from a driving clinic or bruh. how did you get the test? Or was it a rapid? Yeah, I got the little swabby. And then how many days afterwards there, did you get the news? I freaking deep throated that swab, so good. <laughs> they and have then, to find the virus. Uh, yeah, to get the virus, of course, and dig it out. You know, you got to get it real deep in your throat. And um, I got the results about a day and a half later. Nice. <laughs> Zach, you can't sound by yourself. <laughs> it's too weird. So, Ian, what did they say? Did did they call you? Do you get the results like normal people? Like, I'm curious. Did contact tracers contact you? Like what? What happened? I uh, just got an email around uh, probably two a.m., two or three a.m. And when I uh, and then you get a text too. So I, I woke up. I was having trouble sleeping. I woke up around like <clears throat> like four thirty, and then I saw the text and and checked it. And I figured, oh, if I had COVID, they would have called me. Right. Right. I was also like, oh, I'm safe. But I logged in anyway and. Uh, yeah, immediately left the room. Didn't want to infect Sam if she doesn't have it already, but I don't know. She has it. She, 
Yeah, she's I mean, just just by a matter of yeah, she's she's it's it's Gigi Gigi no Gigi for <laughs> yeah, it's definitely Gigi for anyone in that house. So wait, oh I, no, the slide was slowed down. Come on. Yeah, so we're good. I mean, we're both gonna go get tested again tomorrow, mm -hmm. just to make sure. But I I feel like I have it. What I'm do you having feel? a little trouble breathing. Oh god. Oh, no. I mean, not heavy, but like I like I threw a cat toy to Ruben last night and then I went and picked it up and I was kind of like, oh, shit. like I was Aww. feeling it. So yeah. did you get the test just as a matter of routine or because you were feeling sick? I was feeling a little off. Oh, shit. I was, oh. I've been fatigued a lot and I've been getting headaches and I've been coughing a lot. I'm surprisingly not coughing right now, but oh. the last few days I've been coughing a lot. So God, I'm so sorry, dude. Yeah. I mean, it just goes to show you, you know, you, I, I take hand sanitizer everywhere. I never take my mask yeah. off. Like no, I'm no, so careful, and it's it still got me. So that's just kind of so fucking crazy. That's what surprised of all the people of all of us to get it. I would I would suspect you least of all to get it. Yeah, I mean that's that's just the thing. It's so quick, it just happens. You know. Damn. So are know. you are you experiencing one of the more unusual symptoms that I've seen a lot of people say is that they lose smell and taste. Does that happen to you? Yeah, I didn't think it was happening to me, but then Sam gave me a bunch of candles to smell last night. <laughs> she was like, "Some seems off. Smell this." Oh. And I was like, "I'm not. I'm not getting. I'm not really getting much out of here." Hmm. And that wow. was kind of like a bit of a red, you know, red you should alert. Should try the butt candle. Oh yeah, that'd be the ultimate. That thing. would overpower right anything. Right, yeah. <laughs> well, have you seen these TikToks where people are like chugging like lime juice and all this insane shit? They're like, nope, can't taste anything. I always wondered if they're playing it up. So, would you be willing to guinea pig yourself for us, like something like that? Wait, to do what? <laughs> so on TikTok, there's this trend of people who get COVID. They go just to prove to you that I can't taste anything. They'll take like a shot of lime juice. Or what's other shit? You've seen it, AB. What uh, what else do they do? All kinds of ridiculous. They'll eat like garlic or take a bite garlic. of an onion. Yeah. Mm. Garlic and onions are the two most common ones I've seen. Wasabi. <laughs> Would you yeah, give it a shot? Yeah, what's up, <laughs> do, you, do you have an onion in your house or garlic? Uh, I'll check during we the might, show. We might as well make the best of the situation, I feel <laughs> what, like. Would I take a big old bite of an onion? Yeah, apparently like they, say, they say it doesn't taste like anything. <laughs> I go full Shrek on them. Yeah. <laughs> I'll look. I'll take Ian, a look. I, don't, Just, know, I, I think, don't know what COVID bruh. did to you, but you're really funny. Yeah, what do you want? What do you I don't think it's on? the COVID. I think it's the Dayquil. Dayquil does yeah. that to a person? Well, I don't know if it's Dayquil. <laughs> what do you, what do you want, you Ian? For sure. I'm just on that pure COVID, baby. <laughs> Cass, sign me up, dude. I was telling Zach, I feel like I've been, you know, freaking... I've been blasting off. <laughs> <laughs> Ian just switched his background to a spaceship. What? Who's playing yeah. this Whoa. music? Go ahead, Ian. I'm not going to interrupt. This is your show now. <laughs> oh, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Ian just put on a space helmet. We're blasting off, baby. Whoa. Yeah. Sometimes you just got to blast. What is going on? Whoa. Oh. Dude, what? Ian's got a. Ha I think you need COVID forever, bro. <laughs> I need well, everyone watching to blast the fuck off right now. Okay. <laughs> you feel me? Do you dude, feel I, do, me? I do feel you, dude. <laughs> if I think, okay, I think this is a bit. We, this, no, was, no, this was COVID. not planned. Yeah, I don't know. This is not on. a bit. <laughs> I don't actually know what's happening. <laughs> All right. Dude, Ian was cracking me up before the show. He was for a good half hour was making me laugh. But are you on are you on any medicine or is this just straight COVID? I'm really I'm really not on anything. Hmm. So why do you think you become so entertaining? <laughs> you, well, I've been getting all these messages like, oh, I'm keeping you in my prayers, dude, and I think it's over for me. You have prayer people power? Are, are you people just are treating me like I'm about to like it's over. I should start digging it out back. Yeah. So maybe it's you've scary. just you have nothing to lose you and so you're bearing it all for us. Yeah. It's you know I I'm do tapped have out. You, like I said, I blasted off. I have you in my non existent prayers. I pray for you, Doug. If I did pray. If would... I did pray you'd <laughs> be you. there. Bro, I'm praying for you. I'm praying for you, Ian. Everybody in the chat, push P. Uh, let's get some P's in the let's chat. Let's get some P's going for you. Everybody, please. And some F's. 
No, 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 no. no. no you're you're the no P S? god. You're the P god. Well, you know, a P is pretty much an F if you just erase a tiny little bit of it. So P for the prayer, yeah, F for the funeral. P for P, like P. <laughs> Poor Ian has COVID, man. We're making the best of it out here, though. So your top yeah. artist was Zach Lewis. <laughs> I didn't even see the background. <laughs> I just peed in my basement. Your top artist on Spotify was Zach Lewis, God, Ian. He's so bad. Yeah, I mean, you got to support the the wow. legend. Dude. That's very sweet of you. God, Zach, you're a bit kind of. God of music. <laughs> so, Zach, why are you in a suit? What is this about? Yeah. Why are you like all like real estate agent out? <laughs> Well, I'm trying to be my father. No, oh. kidding. Um, <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> um, well, uh -oh. they uh, they wanted me. You're scaring to, me. What's going on here? To dress up as the Joker for like a surprise today for whatever fucking reason. Huh? And I didn't have any makeup. Oh, I so I'm like, oh, like I'll just wear like. Was that Ian's idea? <laughs> yeah, it was Ian and Dan. We just offhandedly mention it'd be funny if you just because he loves dressing up like the Joker. He's like the Joker guy. Yeah. He was like, you should, and I just offhandedly was like, you should just come to the show as the Joker one day. And somehow that resulted in him wearing, just a, wearing suit? a suit. I don't. <laughs> I look fly as fuck, boy. I mean, I like it. It's not the Joker though. And yeah, it's definitely not the Joker. You know what's great about Ian having COVID is if he does die, we have the robot and people won't even notice. Stop it. That's not great. That's not That's great. That's not a good joke. What? I'm kidding. We're joking about COVID. You guys can't, I can't make jokes about Ian. You dies. can't say the D word. Yeah, don't. Oh. Yeah. Ian. Ethan. I thought we were all joking what about him dying. We were just, <laughs> everyone was just typing P's in the chat. I know, but, Ethan, but I thought we were P's friends. P. That's disgusting. You know? I don't want Ian to die. I'm just saying if he right, does. Just not even say the D word. If, Has anyone actually died from Corona? Right. <laughs> if he does, we have the robot. I'm just saying. Uh. Zach, you look like you're going to propose or something. Look, know. I'm praying for him. What more can I do? <laughs> he did drop a lot of peas in the chat. Um, yeah, nice. dude. I called you the answer prayer. I, I floated this earlier. Can we please get Zach to dress up like the Joker? But he instead of face, white face paint, he uses mayonnaise. <laughs> that's a fucking great idea. Zach, you know that's a good idea. I've seen your ass on TikTok just downing mayonnaise like a psycho. Yeah, what? Yeah. Why? I mean, Did anyone do it you? There were a few people that do it at me, yeah. I want to see that. I got to pull that up. <laughs> Somebody send me that on Discord. Okay. I want to so, see yeah. this shit. I have a Joker brain. I've come to the conclusion on that. That sounds kind of scary. You, you're fully Jokerified? <laughs> I'm like scared of my brain come to that point what? wow are you da are you damaged dude <laughs> <laughs> deeply how's the relationship going with the uh with the lovely uh what's her name again uh, jane jane yeah uh it's going great that's awesome i'm, s I'm very happy for you dude uh, really here's that and the parents thank are you. still okay thank you yeah nice yeah everything's everything's good everything's kosher yeah. no drama it's all good Okay. No, no you know, I mean, the, my parents wanted me to bring home a nice Jewish girl, and I did. So. Oh, is she Jewish? <laughs> yeah, she's Jewish. <laughs> what the hell do they have to complain <laughs> about? <laughs> I feel like that trumps you any, guys want a Jewish, you got Jewish. anything else. Exactly. <laughs> you only like get one, one the, wish as a parent. Yeah. I feel like, like a, Jewish mo a real Jewish mom would be like, you know what? I'm oh, I'm willing to look overlook literally anything if she's Jewish. Yeah, I Not mean that that was like one of the first things we bonded over, like talking about her bar and bat mitzvah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's a bat mitzvah. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, you want to see what the fuck's going on on TikTok and Zach's world? It's getting yeah. crazy out there. Shirtless. Oh, I can't listen to the bitch. I'm a ghost. Yeah. Zach is shirtless, eating mayonnaise. He's got it on his nose. He's munching on it. Swallowed it. <laughs> And then he says, "He's not shirtless, but he's got a cleavage." Well, he's we're just wearing a jacket open, a <laughs> denim jacket open, but no undershirt. Why did you feel compelled to do this? Why are you not wearing a shirt? I, Why I look did good. you? Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait, what was that, sir? He said, "Because he looks good." Really? <laughs> <laughs> he said, and then the caption right. is, <laughs> "Do you think this is a sex icon thing?" 
<laughs> no, I'm just trying to play. I, I do. I actually did two more. I downed ranch and then I did mayonnaise too. And you're also. doing this just for the fun? Wait, mayonnaise too? Well, he says what in the mean? caption, duet me, I dare you. Mm. So I was curious, how do I see people who duetted you? How do I do that? Um, do I have to be logged in? You might have to be on the app. I don't know. Yeah, I think you have to be on the. I think you have to be in the app. So yeah. here, so th this is the one I just watched. You did it with this mayonnaise. You did it with this mayonnaise. Yeah. Oh, one's miracle. Some whip. people are asking, "Why are you red and sweaty?" <laughs> red and sweaty. <laughs> is that on camera right now? <laughs> he doesn't look sweaty. No, in the TikTok. Oh, in this one. Why are you well, red I mean, and sweaty in the TikTok? Honestly, I feel like it, sometimes the lighting just does that. I well, I also have something called rosacea, where I have like a chronic red face. Rosacea. Oh yeah. shit. Yeah. Those people yeah. in the chat just did an ableism big time. That sounds like... Here he is so, doing for Miracle making Whip. fun of me. So, let me ask you... You guys this. just good made you, fun of a clinical... <laughs> That's right. It's for rosacea. A medical issue. Fun. Chat is canceled. Okay, Zach. How dare you. What, tell me, you have... You did one with best... What is it called? Best... Uh, food? Hellman's best food. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that one's mayo. The other one we watched was Miracle Whip. It's a little different. So why did you, did you go to the grocery store and explicitly buy these for this video? No, I was like, because I, you know, I got like a joker brain and like, you know, like kind of <laughs> fucked up. You don't have a joker uh, brain. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, joker that brain. means you want to kill someone. Kind no, of. Hold no, on, no, hold on. No, no, uh, isn't that what it's it, I mean, it, it, it does. <laughs> like, you shouldn't say that, but you had these on stock? These? I'm like, I was like at post dinner, like putting, you know, help put shit away. And I'm like, oh, there's some mayo. I'm like, oh, fuck it. Just fuck it. So do your parents? Oh, so these were already opened. Uh, correct. Yeah. Oh. The mir the Miracle Whip was. Wait, where did where Ian's like? Oh, look at that. Ian's what got Zach as the Joker. <laughs> Ian, are you worried though? Like for real about the COVID thing? Like, how are you feeling about it? Sam brought me the full spread. I've got here. Let me turn my thing. Sounds on. like you're kind of having a good time. I'm not even gonna <laughs> hate because you last <laughs> night you're like, I have COVID, boys, and I'm already in bed playing video games and making the best of it. I've all like, seen Queen's Gambit? <laughs> yeah, I've seen the whole show. Hell That's yeah. what's up, right? Mm. You know what? On to um, freaking D's nuts, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a lemon, oh an onion, God. and garlic. Fuck? Yeah! Oh! Oh, I'm so God. excited. Okay, we are doing the COVID taste <laughs> test. This this is here. I've seen all these people on TikTok playing it up like you can't taste anything. And I'm wondering how true is it? So we have our own beautiful salaried employee here, Ian, who has been cursed with COVID, but we're making the best of it. Ian, which are we going to start with here today? First, I got to just note, Sam ran to get me an onion. Good like, job. She was so excited. But she bought it? <laughs> So no, like she up, made a whole up, little spread. Can you ask Sam oh, wow. if you guys have like soy sauce or something that you can drink as well? Oh my oh, god. god! I'm sure she's listening, so we'll see. Okay, <laughs> because because door. oh, does she listen to the show while we're doing it live? That's so cool. Yeah, That's yeah, nice. she's off another room. So, All right, I'll start with this onion. Okay, right? let's see it. Go ahead. Get a go. So I just give it a whole bite. Go for it. Just munch Big into chunk. it, chew let's it, go. and let's see. Like an apple, like you were eating an apple. Right. It was a Shrek bite. I know, I need a Shrek background. A swamp bite. I wish we could play some Shrek music. Somebody. <laughs> Bro, I don't really taste anything. Are you Holy serious? Holy shit. That's Jesus. crazy. I feel like it I can taste it just watching. It has a little bit of a kick. Yeah. Such a subtle... Very subtle kick, though. Not too much. Because usually biting into an onion, is that something that you would recoil at? I think I would, yes. Mm. That sounds that sounds about right. Wow. You got the Shrek background up and everything. <laughs> wow. Okay. Ian is so quick with those backgrounds. Yeah, I know. Ian is a background master. He's like a background ninja. <laughs> Coming up next, what do we have? This is garlic. Piece Just of garlic. A straight up oh, clove of garlic. Now, is this something you would usually eat without... COVID. My eyes are watering a little, but I don't taste anything. That's funny. <laughs> would you usually eat a straight clove of garlic? Uh, I don't think I probably would make that call. No. Okay. <laughs> Let's see it. Here we go. Whole clove in the mouth, raw. You know what's the real test to know if Sam's got it is if she's willing to sit next to you after this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right. Because of the smell. Yeah. You know, it tastes like my tongue is kind of like I just drank like you know, battery acid. Yeah, it's spicy. <laughs> but I'm not like being really like 
overwhelmed by it. Mm. Huh. Well, it's just like, like burning my tongue a little bit. It's very spicy. I've, I ate a raw clove uh, recently. Just I don't know why. And I was for the uh, show. Was it for the show? With the cheese monster. Oh, you're right. Yeah, it was for the show, and it was very spicy. <clears throat> yeah, it's got a little. You know, I'm still I'm still feeling it. Way more than the onion. Way That's more than the onion. So I think the real Ross test is just the lemon. Is if Sam, if you're if you're um, with us, something like lemon or lime juice and soy sauce. I'd like to see. <clears throat> Could pump you full of all these weird. Uh, Sam, if you're watching, can you turn the stream off? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. Well, right, thank you, Ian. Quick. Oh, he's. Got oh. Lemon. Okay, I'll sit down. <clears throat> okay. He's sucking on a lemon, just straight up, eating a lemon. Well, the plus side is that maybe all of this is really healthy for you. He ate the entire lemon. Nothing. Whoa. 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 Oh, my God. That's pretty he, crazy. He's even standing up, man. <clears throat> he didn't even... I'll, I would like to note that he didn't grimace or squint or exhibit any signs of sour flavor. <clears throat> But I'd like to say, even though this looks like it's fun, it's a good time, don't. Don't get COVID, everyone. Stay safe. Yeah. We're just trying not to be depressed about it. Yes. But how does that feel, like biting into a lemon and not tasting anything? How odd. Yeah, I don't know. It's just kind of, um, it's just, um, now I can freaking eat my own cooking. Am I right? <laughs> I would just okay. munch on some broccoli, just stay healthy. <laughs> you know, if you can't taste anything, why not? I mean, oh, some people some. reported that so they would lose up. it for like a month or two. Yeah. That's scary. <clears throat> well, we're going to have our own little guinea pig here with us. Ian, please stand up. What? Ian, please stand up. <laughs> <laughs> so you have no idea how you caught it, huh? No idea. Wow. No idea. Why was Trump uh, in the chat? <clears throat> Trump's a fan. Mm. Big fan. <clears throat> All right. Okay. Well, I guess it's time to move on. Oh, Ian, while I have you here, I wanted to <clears throat> ask you about this. Sorry, I'm having a GERD moment. GERD moment. GERD moment. So this is royalty free right here. This post with on from Ian's Instagram. The music is, yeah. Okay, great. Yes, it is. <laughs> let me guys, sh well, I have Ian here. Let me show you this video. This is from middle school talent show. Ian with the Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> It's lit. Yeah, dude, those ones are sick. <laughs> the Ugg, Ugg buttons. Yeah, those were the days. <laughs> and it's rewind time. <laughs> yeah, there were Yeezys before Get Yeezys. Get out. Right. Get out. That's hot. Get out. Good. I feel like that should cure your cold. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's uh, I studied. I burned that Napoleon Dynamite VHS tape. Yeah, like, I was wondering how much <clears throat> rehearsing this this took. So it took me weeks. I would get home from school and then I'd go into the back room with some Powerade. So maybe some Mountain Dew. I mean, that's literally cool. what he does in the movie. You were just reenacting the movie. Yeah. So this regard. was like and then I, a school I, show. Talent, talent show. show. Talent, yeah. talent show. You were damn sexy, Ian. You know, I was in seventh grade, Zach, so that's a little sketchy if you just say. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty gross. Dude, I got to say, sauce. you've always yeah. been a little bit of a character, eh? But yeah. so, wait, you were that, um, like, you, that's a lot of courage to do that. I'm kind of shocked. There, bro. People Maybe are saying was... Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> oh! oh. oh. Do, do you remember oh. any of those moves? Oh. No, it's been so long. Damn. Maybe I was sick then too, and it gave me the confidence. Well, hold on. <laughs> what can we do to maybe make you re relearn all those? Because I bet you could relearn it fast because you've already done it once. It's somewhere in your brain. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'd love to see that break out again sometime. AB should. AB's got the moves. He could teach me. Does he? Yeah. yeah MJ a does all these Michael Jackson moves. It makes me really a uncomfortable. AB does, AB does. does. Moves? Yeah, he's like all Michael Jackson obsessed. I've never he seen calls that. it. I never labeled it Michael Jackson Wait, moves. Wait, can we do an H3? Bro, you're doing you're Woo! doing Michael Jackson moves. How are you gonna deny it? Every every dancer does those moves. Like just as easily be <laughs> Usher moves. 
Why are you trying to pretend like you're not a Michael Jackson simp? I think we need an H3 podcast talent show. <clears throat> oh, that's a good idea. And I don't even know why but, I'm proposing it because I will not have the courage to do anything. We'll figure something out. <laughs> All right, let's move I like on. That idea. Let's move it on. God, I'm having Gertie like Gerd Gang. <laughs> Gerd Gate. <laughs> Hey, what's up, oh. bird gang? What's up with your shirt today? Is it? Oh, it's a too mad oh. shirt. Too mad. We stand too mad. <laughs> I just bought. I bought it from his store because I thought it was great. And then I gotta support the real ones out there. It's true. Stand He's too mad. That's hot. Um. All right, we well, gotta get to okay. some serious stuff here, Ela. Okay. What? I just want to say, Ian, I just couldn't believe that video, and I still can't believe it, and. Uh, Congratulations. Ian is full of surprises today. From Thank COVID. <laughs> yeah. That's the biggest one. <laughs> yeah, just COVID, really. That was a big surprise. <laughs> All right, what we got on the docket, ladies and gentlemen? I can't believe it got you, bro. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, I'll take it from here. <laughs> so you guys all know uh, Critical on YouTube, okay? You guys right. probably, many of you know who he is, okay? Okay. You guys gave me a, a re-upload. This is that's pretty cold blooded. You guys put a re-upload <laughs> of a video on the doc, like what? Don't give him the views. No, let's pull it up. Okay, it's right here. It's next to it. Original video. Oh, it's Maybe for backup. Well, and isn't this? Yeah, this is a just a a short segment of it. But yeah, I guess. Oh, it was. Oh. Yeah. I was an extra video. in the Hunger Games. Let me see, dude. This guy uploads a lot of videos lately. Fuck me. This was like, what the fuck? He uploaded like a billion videos since this shit went up. Uh oh, I saw you in coffee. Oh, shit. No. You can't get it through Zoom, can you? <laughs> you got to get me off screen. <laughs> That's going to keep happening. This morning I learned that I'm a foot fetish icon voted the best feat on YouTube. Kind of oh, like shit. how Helen of Troy had an entire war fought over her beauty. The foot fetishists are fighting a war over my feet. That's how beautiful they are. Sorry, bro. And I can't say I'm Take overly surprised that I want put to a smell big feet. emphasis on my foot care routine, making sure they're I well hydrated, that, breaking off any excess <laughs> crust and skin flakes, keeping them in tip-top near-mint condition shape. PSA 10 feet. This is so try hard shit. What is this shit? The what fuck down, bro. Yeah, he's like talking here. about, about war. I don't think he even knows what war. Bro, you're not even on the same look like. So, but that here's the part I guess that that Ian pulled where he says, he says. Well, let's let you this morning I learned that I'm a foot fetish. This is literally the beginning of the video that I was watching. <laughs> All right, well, there you go. I don't know. I don't know what. <laughs> and I found Jack's Is it super cut? Okay, here, 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 here. Is it a super cut? <laughs> so I did a little research. Yeah, this one is. Okay, it's, it's, it's edited. Oh, it's a super cut? What a mess. A little, no, a little yeah. fake. Thank you, AB. Here and show you what no problem. Metal winning <laughs> I try. Look like here. My feet have actually broken their metric here. I've gone above and beyond what Fucking science thought. Oh, you kidding, eh? This is old news, dude. Bro, you don't know anything. You don't know anything about Wiki Feet, bro. This is a real bra moment. With how incredible my feet are. But I wanted to see how my feet ranked against other popular YouTubers' feet. So I did a little research research of my own to see who else has entered into this database and I found Jack Septicai has a page so I wanted to see how Sean's fuck about feet Jack were doing Septicai. on here. He's, it's almost like Trash he's coming feet. out here trying to appeal to wiki feet and it still wasn't good enough. Only a pathetic 5.44 out of 5. Sean was no contest. Who else could challenge my reign as the best feet on YouTube and I thought well naturally the next best would probably be Markiplier right? But then as it turns out Markiplier with a measly five bro you, you, you are all in five. five you don't know how stupid you sound right not now not even worthy of being in the same sentence as charles white's wiki feet here so markiplier was no threat doesn't know how stupid he sounds belt here and i thought how embarrassing didn't even stand a chance against me so now all of you know that i have the best feet out of any youtuber or perhaps any person on the planet well you're first of all charlie that's incorrect sorry but i gotta i have i gotta call you out dude stop First of all, how embarrassing that you're going to come out here and throw the gauntlet down. And oh, yeah, bring out the WikiFeed hats, bro. Do you even own a WikiFeed hat, you fucking hack? <laughs> to say, I have to say, I not He's only have the best feet on now. YouTube, the liar now. but I have the best feet on WikiFeed. Bro, do you even do your research? Like, I mean, this is just embarrassing for you. Sorry, bro. Look, look at this WikiFeed Ethan. WikiFeed Ethan. That's one of the top suggested search results. You can Dan's not being able to show it. He's getting really true. <clears throat> Look at this. Dan hurry. Wikifeet Ethan. That's one of the top suggested. 
Wiki well, that's feed. just for you. No, it's not. I've never trust me, dude. We cleared the cache on uh, that browser just the other uh, day, so that is that is six point four, dude. You are out of your element, bro. How dare you come and make that? I think I need to return to my YouTube channel just to make a. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be kind of funny, actually. Yeah, yeah, it's not like a, a drama video. Come back for the feet drama. Can you zoom in on it? I, I really want to make sure. Yeah. Hey, Charlie. Next time yeah. you want to come out and talk shit and fucking take awards and all this bullshit, Six. read the fucking, read the room. I mean, this is just humiliating. Everyone in the chat is saying he's trolling. What the God fuck are you yeah. talking about trolling? You read the chat from there? That's what somebody, that's what AB oh. said. <laughs> yeah, like, no, everyone's, yeah, I mean... Well, what do you mean he's trolling? He made a video proclaiming that his feet are the best. Is he trying? Like, is he trying to bait you? Trolling? What, what kind of it's insane? Is he baiting this conversation right now for for some forty chess move that he's planning out? Here, you want to go sort by site rating? I'm still number one. I'm still number one, even after he made that video that had 600,000 views, basically begging all of his fans to come up. He's not even on the list, bro. He's not even on the list. But here's what I'm going to do. Because you guys know that when it comes to WikiFeed, I don't fuck around at all. Okay? It's First, a WikiFeed war. This is what, dude, this is all I have. Okay? <laughs> this is all I have left. First of all, I'm going to ask you guys. I'm not going to ask you guys to fudge the numbers. I would never do that. But I will say this. If you think I have the best feed in the game, I'm going to invite you to come over to my WikiFeed page and give it five stars. To further solidify my title. I want to talk about feet. And then what I'm going to do further, you guys, is I'm going to look up... What's his last name? Charlie what? Charlie Critical. I, I don't know. Char Let me type Charlie. See what happens. See, he's not even on the fucking... Nobody knows what his goddamn last name is. Char Critical. How the fuck I find this guy? I can't even find his damn account. It's so, it's so obscure. He's trolling? You really think that's a troll video? I'm sorry. Bruh. That's like a war video. He called his feet the Helen of Troy. Bitch, I am, is, uh, I am Helen of Troy. <laughs> his last, Helen of feet. His last name is White. Charlie White. Really? Kind of a curveball. Huh? Would never expect that his last name was White. Okay, he's got a... Dude, dude, I didn't even... Bro, I didn't even try. I didn't even ask people, but he's below five now. And Ooh, I, and listen, with somebody, what? and here's what I'm gonna tell you guys, okay? Because I would never fudge the numbers. I would never ask anybody to rig the game, but I would ask you guys to go to Charlie White's page and give an honest review of his feet. It might happen to be a one. It might happen to be a one star. I personally think he has a one star foot, and that's what I'm gonna give him. One star, ugly. Here, let's take an actually gone honest look at his feet. Who cares? What is this? What is this, fucking, uh, Toontown? I don't know what that means. Just felt like saying it. Uh, F tier, easy. Right. Right. Look at this try hard wiki feed bait. Next. Let's look at Jack Septic guy, actually. One star. That's it. That's what he gets. And you guys know this is all I have, so please. Charlie's talking about you on his stream live. Oh, he's live? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, okay, let me pull this I'm up. I'm watching it. I'm watching it right now. <laughs> Wait, how do I? Okay, you tell me. Should I pull it up or? Well, then it's just going to become very... We have very, dueling uh... streams. <laughs> okay. he, he walked away from the camera. Oh, he's... He's, he's that upset. Watching. He's that he resigned in shame. Yeah. Uh oh Well, the war is on. The war was always on. This fucking coward called war... Oh, what do I gotta watch a Butterfinger ad? Fuck this! Stop paying him Butterfinger money. <laughs> <laughs> well, he kinda needs it to get his own wicked hat. Some of the comments, H3 declared war on you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is not a war you want. This is, dude, you you step into the grand map. this heat. He's, he's, he's just sitting floating in space and he's coming to be float war. He's moved on. He's a, he's like already 20 videos past the subject. <laughs> no, I'm not moved on. It's war, motherfuckers. That's right. <laughs> All right. I'm just... I, honestly, I didn't have to do anything because he's already sub-5, and I'm like, S what in the fuck was that? What? I saw a weird-ass <laughs> picture. Oh, shit. The H3 fans are there now. <laughs> <laughs>
This is they're streaming. spamming. You, they're not spamming. Fans, you brought on this soldiers. Yes, yeah, not fans. Soldiers. <laughs> Foot sorry, <War>. soldiers. <laughs> you know, and I got I kind of have to further call Charlie out <laughs> because when he posted that video, people pointed it out. They came out and said, "Yo, Charlie." Just got to point it out. Ethan has number one feet. Not only number one YouTuber feet. He's literally number one on the site. If you sort by rating, I'm number one. I've got the merch. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> I mean, we've got the merch. What the fuck? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> you know what I mean? Who are you, dude? <laughs> I think I have to make an H3 show. video. I think I really have to make oh an H3 God. video about this. <laughs> to clap back on. Oh, my God. His, his stream is all now saying, hi, AB. <laughs> I A B, <laughs> but I think I really think I have to clap back because it's like you remember when some ordinary gamer made that video about me just, just donation shaming Jeff Bezos. Yeah, and I was this like, is you know, worse. I have to protect my reputation. This is way worse. This is way worse than that. That's what I'm saying. Right. I have to protect my reputation. Right. Critical. I would be like this. Crit the YouTuber known as Critical recently put out a video stating that he has the best feet on YouTube. I think I, I think this war, I think I have to make that video. Well, anyway, I tweeted at him, and this fucking coward. <laughs> peace and love, but. I said, yo, I accept your apology. I says, if you sort by site rating, I'm number one. You can clearly see it says 6.57. 6.57. Right? I accept your apology. He never acknowledged it. He, didn't, he wouldn't even acknowledge it, dude. Coward. H3 out of context. We love him. Fake news, he said. <laughs> so this had 5,000 upvotes. I mean, people were out here. <laughs> it's an outrage. 6.57. I mean, it's 5. the war on truth. This is fake news. How can we live in a society where truth doesn't matter? All right. Some comments in support of me. So he clearly knew about this, right? Someone make sure Charlie doesn't check Ethan Klein's wiki feed. She'd be distraught. Right. So he didn't acknowledge. How was he going to go on and not acknowledge that he's that I'm number one? Right. <laughs> it's, it's crazy. The disrespect. So I think I'm going to have to. I feel bad he doesn't know about Ethan who has like a seven out of five. Fuck yeah, that's right. <laughs> so, you know, let's check the ratings now. Ethan Klein wiki feed. Oh, God. Yeah, we're looking pretty. Oh, I didn't rate myself ever? Beautiful feet, if I don't say so myself. Charlie White. Surprising last name. Can we check to accept it, guy? 4.9. Mm, dropped a little bit. Shame. <laughs> what's your, what's your Sean fucking. I want to smell Mick? feet. <laughs> really? I, you I want never to smell my feet? That. I do have beautiful feet. Zach, you said that. That's a sound bite. Zach, I don't believe you. <laughs> you said you kind of want to smell feed. It was there. You said it. You said it. Impossible. Play it again, Zach. I want to smell feet. That's not me. That's you. Sorry. Mm -mm. What's his last name? Mick fucking Mick. Mick it's Mick Laughlin. Mick Dugan. <laughs> no, it's me. Mick Laughlin. M-C-L-O-U. Here. G -H. Ian, thank you. Ian actually did something. <laughs> Like all you guys just watching me flounder. Ian was in. I was even you how to was spell so it. suffering from COVID. Swoops in, <laughs> gives me the link. McLaughlin, Ooh, it's Sean McLaughlin. Hey Dan, I'm immune and I can't give it to you, so that's good. Oh, thank, you. <laughs> thank you, Don. I mean, he's got a good rating, but you know what I mean. Not Can I see enough. a close One. up? <laughs> Wait, what? I just gotta, I'm sorry, it's just not me. No, he didn't do anything. He, he just he, okay. You know what? I'll give, I'll give him a four. There you go. There you go. Well, let me, well, let me look at his feet. Yeah, let's, let's be honest. A, it's a little. Oh, <sighs> These picks are not good enough. What is this? Like a foot blob? I can't. There's no detail. <laughs> hey there. Dan, that's not bad, huh? <laughs> Dan, what do you think? Is that not bad or what? I don't think his feet are five star worthy. Not five five. No, no. I agree. No, I agree. Not five. Mm -mm. Really? They're what? not terrible. They're not They're one. They're not terrible, but not five. Yeah. I'm trying to look for a good, clean shot of his feet. Would you fart on those feet? I don't know what foot fetishes are. I'd fart on his Who feet. Who exactly are you asking? <laughs> I'd fart on his feet. So apparently with the foot fetishes, he's got that stinky, worn sole, which they like. <laughs> That's gross. So I think the four stands. The four stands. Has Charlie responded to the gauntlet, or is he ignoring it once again? 
Uh, he's not in this. He's still not in the stream yet. Yeah, of course. Is it, by the way, is it a coincidence that he disappeared the moment I call him out on this? Um, no, someone, said, watching this. <laughs> someone said you should paint your toenails for the video. Put some nail polish. Oh, go get like a whole petty. Well, they just. You think I should them. go get a whole petty? I can't. They closed them all. Yeah. I wish I could. Yeah, you can bring someone here. Just bring. That's so bougie. Bring someone to my house. <laughs> to, to I mean, are feet. you the king of wiki fit or not? Oh, but I can't. Shit. I can't tell if they should look pretty or gross because people like, like, like no it gross. They like, like they want to fart on your feet. <laughs> I don't like that. He's back. Yeah, Carl well, is back. He didn't have the courage to respond, so I wouldn't be surprised. Carl is back. You know what? Uh, we got to do our uh, ad reads. We right. do? We're, yeah, we're having an update. actually run a little late, but uh, what, this AB? is so good. I didn't want to interrupt. I have an update. Oh, go ahead. What we got? He just said, I admit I was wrong. I didn't do my research. Oh, oh thank okay. you, buddy. All's forgiven. Well, we wow. love you. He just avoided a full-out fucking war, bro. He didn't want that smoke. Bruh. Yeah, he didn't. He really folded quick. I thought he'd, but I'm happy. That's very mature of him. <laughs> that being said, my rating still stands. One star. One star. Haha, uh -huh, bitch. Him. I'm laughing because you big man. <laughs> 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 oh, we should send him a signed WikiFit hat. <laughs> oh! oh! I'm sending him one of these smells like my ass candles, so we should include a signed here. We could include one of the signed wiki. Yeah. Here, let's sign it on stream right now. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Give me a give me a sharp here. You know what, Charlie? To commemorate our piece, we have an extra wiki feet hat. It's authentic snapback, you can we, see. You know, we got stock of those hats. Yeah, we, we just give these out to all of our podcast guests. <laughs> We have uh, the authentic snapback sticker still on it, mint condition. This is for you, Charlie. I, I probably have Sharpies upstairs. From me, number one on wikifeet.com, Ethan Klein, five, uh, seven stars out of five. With peace and love. I think that I'll just you give you a big fat office, kiss. You might find it in the first Dan, drawer. Dan's looking for a Sharpie. He's running like a maniac. <laughs> His chat is telling him Ethan's going to send you an ass candle. Yeah, he knew he that. Knows I, had to get, I had to get his address, <laughs> but I'm sending him an ass candle because he did the goop reveal. Mm. So I thought he might enjoy the really the yin to the yang on the on the candle front. Dan is running at full speed. We got the sharpie. Well done, Dan. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Dan. So here we have the commemorative wiki feet hat. This commemorates. This is the olive branch, the de the the uh, peace treaty that was signed on this day, from us, the victor, to you, the. Uh, I think this was the biggest and shortest uh, war in history. I'm a little disappointed because I kind of wanted to make that YouTube video. So here, let me write. At least we got peace. I'm gonna write. Well. Sometimes war is fun. Who cares about peace? <laughs> uh, uh, to, to Charlie. To Charlie. Always. Always. Fuck, I'm writing like an idiot. Always number two. <laughs> From Ethan. Number one. In parentheses. <laughs> yeah, I, I, he's gonna look at this and make fun of me. <laughs> yeah, you can't I, even I, read that. Here you go. This is it. You, you want to add anything? I just want to say yeah. peace and love. Peace and love. I feel like this is a momentous occasion. Yeah. I'm glad he finally acknowledged that he was wrong because yeah. it's fucked up. Peace and love. Peace and love. Okay, Charlie. We're did you send the candle already or no? No. Okay, so great. So we'll include this with the candle. So, Wiki Feet. Thank you very much. That was great. Peace. <laughs> AB said he's being sp spammed with Gerd Gang. I think we need to be Wiki Feet okay. Gang. Like, Gerd Gang isn't doing it. I think we need to. Wiki Feet Gang? Like, Feet Gang or Wiki Feet Gang. Gerd Gang! That's pretty good. Um, yeah. Gerd Gang? Gerd. Okay, Gerd Gang is good. Yeah. We're the Gerd Gang. I feel like. Um... Okay, I'll think about it. Gerd Gang is good. Let's not. Let's not try to, you know, force something. I was going to say it was something like Wikifit Militia. Wikifit Militia? <laughs> we're armed and ready. <laughs> <laughs> and we're armed and ready for combat. You can smell our fucking feet. Yeehaw! 
We're ready! Okay, that was fun. Ads. Oh, ads, right. <laughs> Fuck. God damn. All right, you guys want some ads? Let's go. Roman, who wants a boner? It's boner time, boys. Look, we know it can be awkward or embarrassing to talk about erectile dysfunction. Usually we brush it off or blame ourselves. But Roman is here to get you the advice that you want and the help you need with no shame. How often do you use excuses like I had a long day at work or I'm just not feeling it? It isn't easy to talk about erectile dysfunction, but Roman makes it easy to discuss and treat your ED. Talk to me, baby. Talk to me, baby. A healthy life includes a healthy sex life. But if you struggle with erectile dysfunction, you may not feel like your best self. If you want help with ED, Roman connects you with a real U.S. licensed healthcare professional who can prescribe the medicine you need. Boom. Roman, you can get a free online evaluation of ongoing care for ED, all from the comfort and privacy of your home. A healthcare professional will work with you to find the best treatment plan. If medicine is appropriate, Roman will ship real medicine with free two-day shipping. The whole process is straightforward, simple, and discreet. Getting started is simple. Just go to Roman, getroman.com slash h3 and complete an online visit. Erectile dysfunction used to be tough to talk about. Now there's Roman. Complete an online visit today to connect with a doctor and take care of it. Just go to getroman.com slash h3 to get $15 off your first order of ED treatment, a free online visit, and free two-day shipping. That's getroman.com slash h3 for $15 off your first order of ED treatment, getroman.com slash h3. Have any of you guys ever had trouble getting it up? Oh. <laughs> yeah, uh, definitely. Fortunately, fortunately, yeah. I, I mean, have. outside of uh, maybe a night with way too much drinking, you know. Right. Well, there, there was a point in college where I, when I was suffering from extreme anxiety, that I, I almost, I couldn't get it up, like for the whole year, and it was horrible. That's gotta be super stressful. It's so fucked up because, like, if you're with someone and you like, and you actually like them and you are attracted to them, but you're just so anxious you can't get it up, it's like, it's hard to, you know, women look at you and they judge you like. But, well, they they think it's a, a reflection on themselves. Right? That's the problem. They yeah. don't necessarily judge you. They think like, oh, what's wrong with me? Which is so fucked up because you're yeah. like, I do, you know, trust me. I, right. I would fucking, I would basically give a nut to get hard right now. Now, I'm sorry to like go back off topic, but there are two great titles. Foot Soldiers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the Foot Soldiers. And Wiki Fleet. The oh. Wiki Fleet? <laughs> well, the problem with Wiki Fleet is that you don't... <laughs> But you don't know which wiki. There's too many wikis. Right, I guess that's true. Foot soldiers is hilarious, though. <laughs> hey, B, you've had uh, problems getting it up. You were quick to respond. Tell me about that. Yeah, I had a rough summer. I don't know. Really? <laughs> oh, with your wife? <laughs> uh, no, it was actually, it was the summer before I met her. Oh. oh. Yeah. It Aww. was, uh, yeah. And, and you're right, it's just awkward, because then you feel bad because the girl thinks it's her. And right. Was it just like an anxiety thing, you think? Uh... I think that was part of it, yeah. Were you drinking, or it was just like a bad? It was a bad. It was just moment. a bad. Yeah, it's a bad penis know. moment. It was. It was an exciting summer. I think I was just off a little bit. <laughs> it was a bad penis moment. Yeah, I've too had much those. going on. Yeah, we all have been through that. Even Ian is nodding. It's like, man, we all have been through a bad penis moment. It's That's a horrible true. feeling too. Then you take... know, it's actually interesting because you never hear anyone talk about it. So yeah, it's, it is embarrassing. You don't want to talk about it. What, Ian? Yeah. I was saying, but then you take this product, you look down at your pants, and uh, is, it the, is it the Utah desert? Because there's this freaking obelisk down there. <laughs> Dude, Ian is on, <laughs> Ian's front on another. He's on COVID planet right now. That's true, though. I'd like to have an obelisk in my pants. You know what I mean? <laughs> Extraterrestrial boner over here. I, I got I got a scenario though. Like you ever like you go out on a date and like you don't eat anything all day and you got like the empty stomach dump, so that prevents you from like getting hard. Has that ever happened to any oh, of you? Guys? Empty really? stem stomach dump, so you poop yeah, and you it, can't get it, it up. It's like pushing on your prostate, so no. it kind of you know I takes away from enough. the, I've never the fact that of in my your life. you know. Oh, that's no for me, me. dude. Yeah. yeah, sorry. I feel like two things. <laughs> We shouldn't be ashamed of talking about is this for guys and period for girls. It's true. It's no, like it's, it's, just it's human like embarrassing biology. to talk about your period. I don't know why. Yeah, like why? Because it. Cause I it's agree. Gross. Yeah, I guess. But I it's guess guys not are my gross. Fault that it's gross. Yeah, and it's by the way. I think that I think that feminine products should be free. I think it's absolute bullshit that women have to be strapped with the cost. 
of this yeah, really expensive hygiene yeah, product. That guys, I, I just read some place just uh, passed a thing that it's that yeah all, they made it free. Oh really? Yeah, I think That's it was great. Scotland. I think in Scotland they passed a thing that all. But think about it. Yeah. Women have it's really expensive product. I remember when we were broke. Every time we'd have to buy all this stuff. It's like cheese. Yeah. Yeah. It's I'd up. rather buy something else right now. Yeah. So I am pro free feminine hygiene products. That's my platform. Anyway, go to getroman.com slash h3 to, for boner stuff. Thank you. Me undies. Too political. Too political? How is this politics? <laughs> Too political. <laughs> you know what should be free also are condoms. How Those is this politics? Free condoms being condoms you free. Can't get for free. We're talking easily. about blood that and plan, penises. Planned Parenthood. Yeah, and uh, well, I guess this is just an L.A. thing. Wait. But there, there's some places... There's I, lots of places where you can wait, get are people free. joking? Or are they serious about they're saying? They're not joking. I think, I think they're just joking. Around. Yeah, they are. I, I can't imagine know. me saying. Okay, let's talk about me undies. The holidays can be a stressful time of the year. If only there were some bearded men with a bottomless bag of everything that need to cross off the list. Thankfully, our friends at me undies have the next best thing. I want to. I want a Santa in just underwear to come down my chimney. Ooh. <laughs> All like bared out. Like yeah, baby. Thong. Nice. Thick ass Santa Claus. Mm. <laughs> Meundies curates a list of stuff your friends really want this year so you can soften the holiday stress. I gotta say, usually I would not like underwear as a Christmas present or a present, but Me Undies is definitely a great gift because right. it's soft and it's amazing and it's made of mo micro modal, which and is not. It's got like cool fun prints. It's not like um, Hanes. Hanes. Oh, plaid. 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 <laughs> Hanes sucks, bro. I hate that underwear. I wear it, and it gets, it's like starts to disintegrate after a year. I'm wearing it right now, actually, for some reason. But it sucks. It's like, oh, well, the underwear literally dissolves off your body. <laughs> not MeUndies. It's made of micro-modal, which is not only super soft, but breathable, light, and impossibly cozy. It's everything you need to have a stress-free, comfortable holiday. Gift some MeUndies with MeUndies sustainably soft underwear, PJ sets, slippers, and more. God damn it! Here's the offer. MeUndies has a great offer for our listeners. For any first-time purchase, you get 15% off and free shipping. MeUndies also has a problem-free philosophy. If you're not satisfied with any product for any reason, you refund it. You get a full refund or exchange. No questions asked. No, They guarantee no sniffing at the factory when you return them. They, they say, we promise we will not sniff your used underwear. Interesting. Which I appreciate. So to get 50% off your first order and free shipping, go to MeUndies.com slash H3. That's MeUndies.com slash H3. There you have it, folks. There we have it. So All somebody, right. you're saying somebody is desperate to make me laugh? Let's do some. Do we have some lined yeah, do up? Do you guys want to read some of the chats, too? Yeah, of course. Let's read some chats. Yeah, so uh, we have Reagan uh, for fourteen ninety nine. said, Today is my 22nd birthday. I'm so glad I get to watch your stream because I can't do anything because of COVID. I watch every week before I go into work. Love you guys. Thank you. Happy birthday. Thank Happy you. Birthday. Thank you. Thank you with peace and love. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, from Mega Awesome Nerd for $50, dipping in my post-birthday funds to give Ian some cash for a pizza pie or whatever he's feeling. Aww. Oh, no. wait. And I got to give that money to Ian? <laughs> and he said, and Ethan gets a 5% tip toll free. <laughs> Hope you get better from the COVID. Oh, wow. So, Ian, did you hear Thank that? Thank you. That's very nice. I appreciate it. So that. wait, he donated fifty, but I get five percent, so that's two fifty, right? Yeah. Fuck. All right, I gotta get mm. send you. By the way, in case you guys wonder, I d somebody donated a hundred for Zach because he was getting memed on, and I said, "Did I send you the hundred, Zach?" You did send me the hundred dollars. Okay, so there you go. Nice. Wow, what a guy. Yeah, I'm. He's a, a stand up, stand up man. Wow. Well, it'd be kind of douchey to keep it, to be honest. <laughs> but now I owe Ian what? 50 bucks. Thanks, dude. I have, work uh, for me. I have one general answer <laughs> to a lot of people that I see ask kind of similar questions if you want to send us anything about teddy fresh like you want to work for us or anything like that um just send it to support at teddy fresh because they will forward me whatever is relevant to me that's it thank you Vila. any other uh comments donations make ethan laugh yeah Let's get, if more, you want to make right? ethan laugh message zach on uh discord gabish we just have uh, one from Majid. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm not sure of the currency, but it says, Greetings from Belgium. Really enjoyed the podcast. I would probably guess that it's currency from Belgium. Don't they use euros there? Yeah. Five euros. 
You couldn't tell it was a euro sign? I've never been over. I know. I don't know what it looks like. Oh. <laughs> Shit, AB. <maybe. laughs> Bruh. <laughs> I've never bought anything from overseas. No, I don't know what it looks like. <laughs> uh, You've never bought anything from overseas. <laughs> I mean, not that it wasn't in U.S. dollars when I purchased it. Like, you've never, like, anything from England? Like, nothing? But that's a pound, but, That's yeah. not, they don't use euros. Yeah. Well, I, I, I thought he was referring Zach. to in general. I thought he was referring to in Zach. general. Zach. Take that suit off, bro. <laughs> no, you, come at me, bro. <laughs> Take hey, you know what? I'll come at you. I got a theory as to why you're actually wearing that suit. Oh. Okay, why is that? Uh, what is because it? I, because a comment Ethan made on the last episode. What did he say? He said, "Ab's the heartthrob of the show." Oh, okay. You think that's it? You think that's it, bro? Interesting. Interesting. Zach, did nailed you it. wait? Fucking nailed it. Right wait, there. that's really interesting. interesting. Zach, did that bother you that I said Ab's the heartthrob of the show? No, I mean, hmm. Ab and I are supposed to support each other, and like, <laughs> we you have just to. Came at me, <laughs> but I, out of a loving place, baby. You know that. All right, Wait, well, hold on, because he kind of is hitting on something true, because mm -hmm. before mm -hmm. AB came, Drama. I feel like you were the heartthrob of the show. Drama in the chat. <sighs> Zach is still the heartthrob. I think, I think it's just... Oh, no, no, you, you don't have to push me up here, AB. I can handle myself, but I appreciate it. I mean, it, it did take... It felt a blow. I'm yeah. not going to lie. Do you, feel that you're, do you feel that you're more handsome? Like, who do you... In your mind, like, let's be honest, are you the heartthrob? Is AB's title warranted, or do you think that you should hold that title? You know, be honest. It takes a true, it takes a true man to realize when he's wrong and say certain things. Uh -huh. And I think I have to give it to AB. Wow. <laughs> so you think AB is is more handsome? You're saying it right now. I, I yeah. Wow. Yeah. Think he's got a, a better body than me, and hmm. he's damn sexy. Okay, he's he's just being That's nice sweet. Zach. Zach. Zach is like six four, beautiful man, beautiful hair. He is tall. Yeah, that is completely false. He's not six four though. I'm six three. Six three. Really? I yeah, don't I remember him say, being that tall. tall. Yeah, I haven't seen really you in like a year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Zach's really tall. What yeah. does Ian think about all this? Y'all know Dan's the heartthrob of the show. <laughs> <laughs> well, AB, do you think you're more handsome than than Zach? No, I definitely don't. No. Be honest. I, I I'm really hard on myself in general. AB, but... you're kind of like a self hater, right? Yeah, I'm really hard I, on I myself. I recognize yeah. one when I. But see you one. have to acknowledge the amount of t attention you get, right? Like that. That yeah, you're... no, it's very sweet. Um, People I don't are know. saying I always attribute but it to. But it's like, like you don't believe it, right? Like no, they, I don't believe they, it. Yeah. Not for a second. Let's do a poll. Exactly People are saying poll. My okay. my siblings are the same way. My yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Is it just, well, I think just you're between damn these sexy two? AB. Should we do just Zach and A B? Yeah, let's just yeah, do Zach and A B. Yeah, I mean, Zach, let's be honest. Nobody wants to fuck any of us. Yeah, else. Exactly. Well, <laughs> I see people that they have a crush on Dan. Yeah. And this and that. Ian please. well Ian look, they're all off the market. Yeah, they're although, off the market. Although so are they technically, but right. they but all people, love A B. Yeah. Okay, we're throwing up a poll in the chat to find out who I, is the I just got to say, AB is such a great new addition to the team. Right. And um, he's, he's a great dude. So, AB, Thanks, buddy. if anyone still doesn't understand what happened, AB was a simp. <laughs> no, it was an H3 fan. All these people stop. Hold on. And Everybody blah, blah, needs blah. to stop spamming. I'm trying to put the poll in the chat, and you're all spamming too much. It's just immediately disappearing. Okay, everybody. All right. Slow yada, down. Yada. Slow down. down. We need yada, to get... Yada. Who's the heartthrob? That's a fucking simp. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people still don't know where I came from somehow. See, I oh. was trying to, to, to say something, but I'm so awful at this. I don't even know what I said. Can you, you explain? Yeah. AB was, well, okay, AB made a couple of videos about us in my defense, which I, you know, when the whole Gokunara thing was going down, AB made, like, a video defending me, which was really nice because nobody was ever fucking... It was the only one on planet Earth. I was like, is anybody else gonna say anything for me in this shit? <laughs> nobody. AB was the only one. So anyway, I knew of him, and we started talking on Twitter, and I learned a little bit about him and Lena, his wife, and, um... You sent me like just out of the blue because you were you were pretty simping pretty hard and sending me all kinds of stuff, which was nice. But I was like, he's a simp, <laughs> <laughs> which is fine. And he sent me um, 
What was it? What so was the research doc you sent me? We were talking about someone and shit was going down with you, between you and someone. And then AB was like, hey, I got you back. Here's a full research on this Which guy. Which was really good. I was like, oh, this fucking, this is rules. What, who's it on? Was it Mike from... S-I-M-P. Yeah, it was on oh, Mike. Oh, it was Mike from Impulsive. Oh, yeah. during that whole thing where he called me out for being like a... He's right. like, dude, whatever you think, whatever, whatever the fuck, bro, you're such a chauvinist. Yeah. And meanwhile, meanwhile, by the way, cut to a couple months later, and Mike is like, wearing a dresses for bitches. And I was like, okay, Mike, you're so fucking woke. Shut up, you bitch. Box me. Nah, I'm kidding. I won't box anyone. I'll get my ass up. beat. I'll get my ass beat from anyone, bro. But anyway, he, he sent us fight. this document of research, and we were like, we want to hire. Well, guy. AB was like, here's all the reasons why Mike is fucking a dumbass on this topic. And I was like, this is great. And we were looking for another cast member to handle, help us with research and stuff. So I was like, me and Hilo talked about it because they were living in Detroit at the time. And we we're like, well, and then we were also looking for like an office manager for Teddy Fresh. And Lena was like oddly perfectly qualified for that job too. And so we were like, this is weird. Like, I know it's kind of a weird, risky thing to hire these guys, and especially to have them move out from Detroit. But ultimately, we, we decided to do it. And Lena has been amazing, yeah, too, Lena. on the Teddy Fresh side. Everyone loves her. She's yeah, Lena's helpful. awesome. She's great. Yeah, we are internally grateful. I and, can't say and, it. And AB has been awesome, as you guys know. He's, he's, you know, the whole content court was his invention, which I love. And by the way, people have been asking, where's the next one? We're working. Yeah. We want to make sure it's good. We don't want to... Uh, waste we don't want to waste the format we want to make sure it's yeah. good right. but uh ab has brings a lot to the table and so does alina and i'm super happy that that we that we brought him out here i mean it's been awesome so that's yeah. really the genesis of uh ab and lena so the the votes are still flowing in but it, it the ratio is holding pretty steady at 65 percent ab Whoa. that's pretty that's got, 64 64 percent ab Eric, can I pull up the poll? Just so you understand, this election was a fraud. Can you send me the... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, just to add on to that, not, not to plug myself, but you guys might have, because not a lot of people know, you might have heard of me previously, because Ethan and Ela talked about me right. under my YouTube name, which was Star Killer. Killer. So, Star like, Killer. I see it on the Star Reddit. A lot, a lot of people don't oh, yeah. know that that Star was me. Killer. Star Killer. Well, because you on that channel, you are always wearing a mask. That was part of your life right, persona. Right. So I was still don't realize medicine. it's the same person. Yeah. Right. Yeah, it seems I like I'm in love with you then and there, Amy. <laughs> it seems like AB is winning. I'm sorry, Zach, to say, but you know what? It's okay. You know, you got I, a lot I'm of passing votes. the torch. You did get passing a lot of the votes. torch off to him. It's okay. It, I just, if you were to see us in person, it would be different. I'll say that. Well, the ch no, I mean, okay. Um, Anyways, thank you guys. Appreciate I think, it. I it's think good for my confidence. Everyone is beautiful here on this show. Yeah, but AB's more beautiful. That's what we're getting at. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go cry now. Yeah, but Zach, you you pulled like a fucking you pulled a porn star, bro. Not many people can say that. <laughs> so I mean, whatever this poll says, you're the man. You know, dude. It, it, since we did bring up Mike. Go ahead. No. Oh, people. yeah. We oh. forgot to address this. Uh, How is this uh, not my document, you guys? Uh, what the uh, fuck? Wait. Well, I don't even know what you're talking about. Because Zach said he would never date a porn star when we were talking about Mike. Right. Oh, I, so, I, I missed this whole saga. I'm who's sorry. got that link? Hold on, Zach. Let me stop you there. <laughs> we, need the, we need to pull up the clip. Who's got that? <laughs> I'll find it. Give me a second. Oh, that is funny. People didn't know you were Starkula. Oh, they didn't? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nobody knows. Well, because we never every call him, we call him AB. Oh, because he shows his face on this channel. I figured people knew. Usually he has the mask on. I mean, he did a lot of videos without the mask. Well, fair enough. Okay, well, whatever. He's Star Killer. Right? Okay, Zach. I also, real quick, I want to throw Zach a little bail in the poll real quick. Because yeah. I think AB has some, he's got some sexy mood lighting. <laughs> that I think mm, does a no, huge. No, no. I look like true. a fucking yeah. tomato yeah, right you, now. Yeah, you, you, your camera honestly <laughs> looks like shit, Zach. Well, you that's part. Well, I yeah, and I said that too. I, said I mean, that look, whenever AB, you should go to Zach's room. Oh, look at Ian. Like, look, look what happens. <laughs> I don't know what the background is. <laughs> How the fuck did you do that so fast? Seriously, yeah? what are you doing? What kind of magic? What are you doing? Just, he just set up the lights. He, he had those. He just hadn't flipped them on. Y yeah, I went to a different room. How does he do that so fast? <laughs> He's fucking just been on one, man. He's just been <laughs> I love COVID crazy. Ian. COVID Ian rules. 
Anyways, so, just wanted to AB, defend my I guy. Think, I think oh, you, you should man. give Zach um, a little home visit and do a little magic in his room. Yeah, a little mood lighting over there. A little makeover. <laughs> well, I don't there want you guys getting COVID, so stay yourself. Well, we, we, have, we okay. have some pictures together, I think. We Let's see one. the pictures of you guys together. No, it's sure. not a good pic. Don't Let me show. see the picture. <laughs> it's not good. It's not I don't good. care. I want to see you guys together. Because <laughs> don't you think AB's sabotaging then if he's like, there's pictures of us together? <laughs> Because he's kind of playing up that he's the heartthrob and he's throwing you under the bus if it's not a AB, good picture. AB, do not. No, oh, no, I'm, I'm saying that he's better. Show me the picture, AB. Who are you loyal to, me or him? <laughs> you got it. Zach, you know better. He's got to show it to me. I look terrible in that picture. He's upset. You've okay, upset Zach. Zach is upset. You've upset, Zach. You've upset me, We're... dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. It's a very hard thing to do. I just want you to know that. <laughs> All right, here it is. Okay, you ready? So, Zach... Who we all forgot, but apparently the foot, the uh, Gerd gang did not forget. The foot soldiers. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> <laughs> I love the foot soldiers. So let's watch this. Um, I'm cool, bro. I don't, I don't want to do that. I don't want to spot your girl's panties. <laughs> all I said was like I wouldn't have sex with her. Why do you got to attack me for that? Well, hang on. You all you said was that you <clears> wouldn't <throat> have, you wouldn't date or fuck a porn star. Yeah, exactly. Who are you dating? Name fucking ass. Jane Wild. Jane Wild. <laughs> Dude. So what the hell? Your whole thing against Mike was that you didn't. You were like, I won't fuck a porn star. So I changed my mind. Fuck it. Who cares? <laughs> you changed your mind. You evolved in that short period of time. But to to be fair. To be fair, I was uh, also in a... his his, uh, his girlfriend isn't even fucking guys, but yours is. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I will say though, Zach is just owning everything. Yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. Zach always. I fucking said everything. it. Yeah. So what? Yeah. I'm not gonna deny it. I love but you, to be Zach. fair. I love you. I, I love all you guys, but to to be fair, I was I was in a very toxic relationship at, at the time okay where i was being filtered in oh so if you had oh. if you had said if you had said that you would date a porn star that would have been a pain in the ass the, in your relationship no. correct mm. you i got makes a little bit of sense then. looking back at that at that relationship zach you were very filtered you're like i can't say that you couldn't like, say anything you couldn't even say that you wanted yeah. to look at bell's only fans you would get in trouble I for was, that I was, it was just this impending, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to talk bad about her, but yeah. it was just this, this, it just wasn't, it wasn't good. Well, and I feel like the porn star suits you. Yeah, I think so too, right? That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So, so yeah, it, it's just, I, look, I, I fucking said it. I'll eat my words. I'm going to do whatever Zach. I do. What do you got for me, A.B.? Send me That's a picture. Great. That is funny though, regardless. Yeah. Okay, here's the photo. Let's see. Oh, you got your uh, Lena's in here too. Yeah, she's always trying to get in between us. So wait, Lena's in the back seat. <laughs> you got Zach. Why are you sitting shotgun? Yeah, His wife I, is in the back seat. What the fuck? She, is I that? offered. I'm like, no, hey, no, do I, you want to? I have a two door. My car is very small. She, yeah, she. She, did, exactly she fits. Okay. Uh, weird. So what? Do, what so okay. what are we gauging here? You, you asked for it. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> um, it's not a bad picture. It's not yeah. a bad picture of you, Zach. Yeah. I don't know what you're tripping about. Uh, I, I gotta, that night was that was so much fun. AB rolls up and he's got like this. F oh, uh, shit. Uh, you're wait, gone. Did, 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 we didn't hear you. Say again. You, uh, you lagged for a moment. I said, I said that night was a lot of fun. AB pulls up and he has like a fat cigar in his mouth. He's smoking in the car. <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. Oh, pimp. Did I have a cigar? <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't usually smoke, so I don't remember. Well, guys, we've, we've, we've covered a lot of ground there. Let's move on to the next story. Who's this girl, Gabby DiMartino? I don't know who that is. Let me look up photos of her. So she had gotten to this really weird controversy on OnlyFans. Gabby, who is she? She is a dance She's a camp? She's like an actor? Dance camp? Is she just a YouTuber? Here she is. There's someone who said in the super chat, honestly, I'd, I'd kill to add another woman to the H Street team to banter with these boys. I'll give them a run for their money on stories and research. Mm. I'd love to hire a female. I, don't... I, think, I think if anyone thinks they can do it, just send us whatever, you know? 
send us a resume, send an email to podcast at Asia If Productions. you want to go ahead and do research on something, do that. Well, you know the last three people I've hired. Ian, all, all the guys. Ian, yeah. Zach. How do we hire you, Zach? I forget. He, uh, email too. Um, we just talked about us. on the show that we want. I we think wanted we, a sound. We person. wanted a sound guy, and yeah. he just emailed and said, "Hey, I live in the area." So all three of these guys are, were hired through their outreach. Yeah, I didn't know any of them. I had no connection to either of them, except that they they reached out. I should say too. I mean, we are in currently in the works of getting our new studio and moving into a new building and kind of expanding the whole operation. Dude, it's gonna be so and, um, sick next year. Wait till you guys see what we're building. Yeah, and there will be some open positions. Right, exactly. I mean, there's uh, uh, the opportunities will will likely expand around the spring of next year. We and should so, try to hire a woman. That'd yeah, be great. I, I agree. It'd be I cool. Be I would fun. love another female voice yeah. in the in the midst of us. So thank is, you, Dan. Thank you, Dan. You got it, Don. <laughs> so this is Gabby DiMartino, who has an OnlyFans account. Okay. And the controversy is that she is peddling a nude video of her as a child for three dollars okay so weird 25 year old shared a video of herself as a kid with the caption won't put my panties on de martino's only found account has since been taken down <laughs> what so so she's she's selling nudes of herself as a kid on her only fans there, right? there's a link in there of the ad yeah, I want to see I think that. That's the, I think that's the best thing to kind of demonstrate what's going oh, on Oh, so here. here, this is a video explaining it. Okay, thanks. <laughs> I'm Chris Hansen with Dateline NBC. <laughs> <laughs> Can you Dateline herself? It's like, have a seat over here. <laughs> so, yada, yada, yada. Well, that doesn't mean anything, really, does it? Mm, I don't know, Chris. You're the expert. What the fuck do I know? <laughs> so here, unlock for $3. Won't put my panties on. She reportedly cap. That's f what a sick fucking weirdo. Wait, in this video, you got to open the link because they're not showing it. Okay, but I kind of want to give the context. She said she apologized on Twitter, claiming she thought the video was nothing more than a goofy family throwback. I mean, I don't buy that. You're on yeah. OnlyFans, and you said I won't put my panties on. Like, yeah, what a sick thing to do. I mean, what a weird, weird, weird. I like to make love. Childhood video of uh, Chris? What? <laughs> a ch <laughs> childhood video of me on the phone saying, Nanny says, put your panties back on and jumping up and down laughing. I'm sorry I didn't think that one through, period. A home video I love to share with my friends and I use my OnlyFans as a Finsta page. Well, then why are you making people buy it for $3? Can't you post it for free if that's the case, Zach? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just asking you because I know you. I, I <laughs> only fans. I know for sure you use it. Yeah. 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 So weird. And even the, just don't post that. Like that's a. That's, that's a thing disgusting for, for close for close family. You know what I mean? Oh man. I'll make it feel really good for you, hon. Oh, Chris, that is just not appropriate. What? Anyway, she got permanently banned, which is kind of epic. I don't know how big her account was, but let me pull up this photo that, let's see, so, uh, image from the original post, oh god, here we go. So this is her, the way she advertised it right, right. here? this is what you would see. Sent a little surprise in your inboxes for those who are curious. Yeah, and that then you see that photo, and then you buy it, and all of a sudden you're looking at child porn. <laughs> oh, what? Oh my god! What? That's what? So I wrong. would if you're why would, you'd buy that and be like, what? Yeah, that's <laughs> FBI. It's like the minute you unlock it, you get a knock at the door. Yeah, you take a seat right over there. FBI's here, dude. Seriously, that's kind of like. I think insane. a lot of her fans must have been what like, was on what? The that's really wrong. Oh my goodness. Because I thought at least they knew what they were clicking on. But this meant they, they <laughs> didn't right. it's, it's like insane They weren't even bait. trying to buy it. Yeah. And then she's like, here's, the, here's what you asked for. <laughs> Let's see her apology. It's short. Or is this the super cut? Good morning. 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 Good
morning. I'll just be your secret lack lover. Of judgment and poor decisions have led to a very, very serious issue that needs to be addressed. I owe it to you guys. As I was coming up with new ideas and new content, I was watching a home video with my family of myself as a three-year-old when my mom announced that she was pregnant with my younger brother. In that home video, I ruined a beautiful moment by telling everyone that I heard my nanny tell me to put my panties on through a stethoscope. It's a video that has brought back laughter and joy within my family for years, and I share Chris, it with what do you I think? Do you Oh, Vin, a stop. Caption. It's not funny. It was a quote from the video. Never in a million years did I think something that I thought was so innocent could be looked in such an ugly way. And I think that's where the problem lies. I realized I'm so disattached with reality that it didn't even cross my mind that this could be viewed like this. And that's a serious issue. It's not funny. It will never be funny. And it's not okay. And I'm really sorry. I'm sorry to hmm. my friends. Pretty to sincere. Fans, Seems yeah. like a pretty good apology. Yeah. Yeah. That's I'm pretty good. so truly sorry. And it was definitely a huge lack of my character and my judgment. And I know who I am in my heart. And I know that if you know me, you would know I would never condone anything like this. So it really what was on the agenda tonight? to know the pain that I've caused for so many people, my family, my friends, my fans, my supporters, even people who have just simply been triggered by my stupid, thoughtless action. To everyone, I'm very, very sorry. It was very insensitive and a poor representation of who I am and what I believe in. I would never do anything to exploit or harm a child. I'm so sorry. Truly, very sorry. This is a huge wake-up call. I'm going to step back into reality now and I'm going to reflect. And I love you guys and I'm so sorry. I, I'm going to grow and learn from this. And I will come out of this a better person. And I will do That's got to be one of the better YouTube apologies, eh? Yeah. That made me sad. Let me just read the comments. I'm curious. It's got the likes disabled. Well, the comments are here. Goog. What is Goo oh, Google? Ew, I'm not looking. What the fuck? What are they saying? To look it up? You know exactly what you're doing. You're sick. I hope you get charged with selling CP. Can you get charged with CP if it's yourself? You know, it's kind of an interesting thing, right? I think so. I mean, you yeah, can. you should be able to, yeah. but hiding dislikes coward. Yeah. The YouTube comments are not kind. Not kind. Not kind. So that was a weird I mean, one, she, eh? She straight up said she's detached from reality. I mean, she's basically acknowledging she's an idiot. I mean, I I mean what, what more can you want from an apology for that? You know? I don't know anything about her, so I can't possibly say right. what She didn't try and justify it anyway. She said, I'm an idiot. Like, <laughs> Which is so weird. Right? I think the, the, if, I have, if there's any evidence that she is being truthful here is that she didn't try to sell it like CP. She was like, it was weird the way she marketed it. Right. <laughs> anyway, speaking of uh, speaking of s sexual, how do you say sexual uh, deviancy? Deviance. Thank you, Dan. How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> <What>? <laughs> so there's this. Before you, before you move on, I, is it okay if I read this donation? Yeah. Yeah. Um, from Jesse Plummer. Uh, she said, uh, so thankful for the H3 crew. Tomorrow I go back to work after three months off after suffering from PTSD. I was mm. a COVID hosp uh, hospice nurse during the height of the oh, pandemic. God. Please yeah. use this as a PSA. Stay home for the holidays. Also, Ela Kleiner for life. Wow. Thank you for your service. Yeah, You're thank you. You are the hero yeah. of this. You, dude, Peace and love. Peace I mean, and love. Along, the people working on the front line are just Fucking yeah. heroes, man! Thank you for your service it's to our be country. Gotta so scary. You're seeing so many people all the time, and yeah, thank you for for your service. Really, you know. Hmm. Sad. Hope you get better. Hope you feel better. So let's let's talk about uh, this guy who this girl on TikTok who apparently fucks her son a lot now, shall we? <laughs> Sally, do we have anyone for make Ethan laugh? By the way. Uh. Wasn't so Everyone keeps sending poop stories. <laughs> uh, we're, we have a we have a, a um, no poop story policy that's been instituted. We have an embargo on poop and pee stories. We're yep. putting our foot down finally. We are we are evolving, people. We're better than that. Right. All right. Honestly, I would listen to them all day, but people are getting annoyed in the comments. <laughs> we do have a, a call lined up, though. I don't know if you want to. Mm. So I actually have to pee desperately. So either you entertain. So them. who's the call? Set them up a little bit, and I'll take it. Um, oh, I have to pee so bad. What was that? Zach, oh. <laughs> exactly. you want to introduce it? So bad. Um, uh, also, let me read a couple of donations. Okay, um, sure. 
this person is asking when will the black beanie from the last episode be out. Um, so I was kind of testing the waters. I think it seems like everyone liked it. I did too. So it will be out around February. Nice. Ethan wasn't a fan, but I'm like, it's not for you. I think it's probably <laughs> for women. <laughs> um, Zach is a king. <laughs> sure. Okay. So thankful for the... Oh, uh, that's the one we just read. Okay, so I guess... Yeah, let's bring on the call. Um, it's kind of disappeared quick. It's... Oh, I can see... I can see some more in the back end here. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Right, Zach is king, right? Uh... <laughs> L said, please don't hire a hyper PC person. I enjoy the unfiltered <laughs> ignorance of this podcast. Not as That's dangerously funny. ignorant as Trisha, though. Okay, so somewhere somewhere between the ignorance of Trisha mm -hmm. and, and the current level. We okay. have, we're going to find that sweet spot. Got we'll it. keep that in mind. <laughs> Although we probably will hire based on their qualifications. Their, capa their capabilities, yeah. <laughs> right. More so than their level of ignorance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, uh, somebody said their credit card company literally just called them because they thought it was fraud from all of the donations they were making to us. <laughs> yeah, Jesus, dude. Take it easy. <laughs> take it easy, Cameron. Yeah. No, no, no. Right, you want to take this call? Who, who Did you guys introduce them? No, I was reading um, a donation. So, so, um, so this is a man and his wife. The wife is an OnlyFans creator, and they get weird custom requests for videos. So I want to learn more. I'm fascinated by... The OnlyFans experience. You know, I don't know how many of you guys know Jem Wolfie. She's number one, and she reached out to me on Instagram because she's a fan of the show, and we mentioned her. And I'm trying to set it up, so I really want to talk to her about her experience uh, on OnlyFans. But let's get, let's bring them in. Let's have a chat. So we, have, we have Anthony and Rena on the line. Anthony and Rena. Hey. Hey. So Rena, what is the name of your? Uh, what's your name? Let me let me just, let me see what's happening. Let me just get a on look. my only yeah <laughs> on my only fans it's lucia underscore l u okay and what kind of content do you make lucia underscore l u uh fetish content only oh fetish con <laughs> oh you you do wait lucia l u i don't see it only fans what's your name like if i google you how do i find your stuff Oh. Um, Here, I'll send you the link. If mine is at L U C I A underscore L U. Because I'm trying to find some, I'm trying to find some safe for work photo I can show. So this is who we're oh, talking to. You Eli. might want to go on my Instagram. I can't. I just keep finding a bunch of. Here, Zach. Zach's gonna send me. So this girl, okay. Lucy, she does fetish content. You know. Oh. So what does that mean? Like a whole broad spectrum of fetish, fetish content or like specific need to get it Everything from poop, feet, really? uh, poop? peeping, um, I put worms on me, um, I've done a lot, I've done a lot. You're okay being pooped on? <laughs> this chick's wild, Oh dude. yeah. Wait, worms? Send me a link quick, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> so are you into that stuff or you just do it for the only thing? Yes. Fans? Very into it. Very, oh, very wow. into it. So let me ask, what is it that you're into? Is it like the degradation that you like being degraded? Or like what is it that like you have this full spectrum enjoyment of fetishism? Like how do you, how do you like every fetish? What is it you like? I like being degraded. I like being mm. hurt. And oh, I shit. like being like pushed around. Damn. And yeah. Pooped on. Yeah. So how does pooped on fit? How did yeah. you, when did you first realize you liked being pooped on? Yeah. Also, is well, your husband like the one pooping on you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And what's your name, dude? Uh, my name's Anthony. Anthony, well, how does it feel to take a steamy dump on your wife? <laughs> oh my god, dude, it's it's heaven. It's awesome. Really, it's heaven. Really. So okay. Wait, I so mean, you both you, good. Good. you both were into this separately, or this did awesome. you discover it together as a couple? <laughs> This is we my favorite call. We discovered it together as a couple. Yeah. Really? So were you guys like, kind yeah. of vanilla when you started dating? No, not no. me, no. <laughs> oh, okay. So let me, Zach, send me a link. I got to see these, these people. Oh, yeah, she's very pretty. Well, why are you only oh, saying thanks. for yourself? Did you put it on the screen or is it not? <laughs> no, it's I'd safe say. for work. I just, I couldn't. No, safe for work, for, I could find. Okay. I, <laughs> yeah. is, this, is this you? 
They're on a delay, so they'll see it. In Zach sent me this. Hopefully that's you. Otherwise. You're kissing a polar bear. Yeah. yeah. That's you. Okay. Okay. Because everyone else with that name is like Asian. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I typed it I'm and all Turkish. this. Okay. Oh, you're Turkish. Oh, you are. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. So, so let me, so when you take a steamy dump on your wife, what's the cleanup process like? Or tell me, walk me through that process. <laughs> just walk me through that well, process. Do you eat something in preparation? Do you put down a tarp? <laughs> like, I'm really just curious about the process. I just let him poop right on me and I prefer to see his ass gape while he no. does it. Holy so it's shit. In front Crazy. of me. This and is then amazing. it just kind of drops on wow. me. And, <laughs> <laughs> and then I just kind of leave it there and we really show it and everything. So where does he poop? So like on your chest? Oh on your chest or like your face? Would you ever take it on your face or just your chest? Um, I've taken it everywhere. <gasps> you wouldn't put it in your mouth, would you? No. No, um, no, he said. I, I might, but I don't think Anthony. There's always a price. There's a price, There's a price for everything. It's FYI. dangerous. You mean, you mean, oh, you mean if someone paid enough, you would put it in your mouth? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right. <laughs> but it seems like you like it. Like, I don't know that if that's something. Is, I love wow. it. So, I love, really? dangerously Damn, love it. Dude, that's crazy. What so, if it's like a messy poop? <laughs> that's, I feel it's even better. Wow. How did you get so fucked up? I mean, with peace and love, like, how do you, get, so to, how do you get to be like I you are? I have mommy issues and daddy issues. Really? So it's, the, it's the super yeah, yeah. powers combined ends up with you being pooped on. Right, exactly. So, wow. Well, I guess that's an easy solution. Are you making a good living on OnlyFans doing this? Oh, yeah. My first month, I made $1,000. Wow. Yeah. And so how much would you charge? How much would someone have to pay to get a video of you getting pooped on? Um, the last guy paid three hundred dollars for it. Wow. That's good money. Especially if you like it. I mean, hell, you know so what I mean? They pay for it and then they get their own private video? Yes. Wow. Okay, let me ask you this, because if I, I if I'm understanding you both correctly, I get the feeling that Rena, am I saying your name right? Is more yes. freaky than Anthony. Is that right? I, I don't know, man. He I, likes different things. Yeah. Because it sounds like different things. It sounds to me like some stuff she's up for, Anthony may not be up for. Like the pooping in the mouth. Anthony, you seem more hesitant than Rena. Has there ever been no, a situation? You just said there's a price to it. Yeah, but at first he was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, in the mouth, I would feel like I was doing a disservice to her. Like, I don't want to give her pink eye. I don't want to get her, like, any kind of, you know. Illnesses seems like a bargain to be honest for 300. The price is right. Yeah. Right. So has there been, ever been anything that either one of you wanted to do, but the other person was like, "That's too much for me." No. I think wow. We both just try. You, you guys are kind of. Are you guys in love? It kind of sounds like you guys found your soulmate. We're married. Yeah. Oh, you're married. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. What was the sex like on your wedding night? Was it weird or vanilla? <laughs> Did you poop on the um, wedding dress? It was. Weird. <laughs> What did you guys get up to on your wedding night? We did like a bunch of weird role play. Like we were like other people. Mm. <laughs> like like, like what? Couch, like uh... the pastor. Oh, oh my god. god. You guys are fucking crazy. <laughs> and do you guys. Dude, all in the name of love. All yeah, yeah, love. yeah. No, dude. Dude, I think it's, <laughs> by the way, I, I joke, but it's great that you guys have this open sexual relationship with each other. I think it's fantastic. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really Definitely. beautiful. Thanks. Thank you. And so, it's and so good. Vin Diesel likes it. He's, he's placing an order right now. <laughs> okay. Just said we've religiously watched you for like years now, and we actually connected over you guys. Like, oh. we found oh, that's so cool. Love of you guys, yeah. Wow. Man, it's so cool to know that our show cul culminated in you getting pooped on. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the, can I ask you, what's the weirdest thing you guys have done? Because I feel like, I'm. I, who knows where the limit is on this stuff, and I'm just fascinated. Well, for content, the weirdest thing I've ever done was put a hard-boiled brown egg in my vagina, and it tore my pussy, and I got a yeasty from it, so. <laughs> how much you get, wait, how much you get paid for that? <laughs> Three hundred dollars. Is that wow. that seems like kind of the most that you'll mm -hmm. charge? Is that like for the craziest stuff, three hundred? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so a hard boiled egg will give you a infection? <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah, no, no. Don't put a hard boiled egg in your puss because you will get a yeasty. Right. There you go. So wait. Chat. 
You learn tips. Every Those day. are important life lessons for y'all. <laughs> okay, wait, hold on. An egg doesn't seem that big to tear your stuff. I am so tight, like clinically tight. Really? Oh, really? That I can tampons. Oh. oh my so goodness. I have to like lube myself. Like, wow. I, I honestly watch videos of Belle, Ela, or uh, Megan Fox to get myself lubricated. And Ela? then. Ela turns you on? Like, Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah. pretty cool, Ela. How does that make you feel, Ela? I'd be honored. Fine. I mean, cool. but what do you watch? Like, just the podcast? All due respect, yes. I just watch the podcast. <laughs> Out of respect. Do you ever watch like a deep fake of you? Out of mind. Wait, this is great. Did you ever watch a deep fake of you or something? <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. That's so funny. Tate. I mean, that's awesome. Yeah. That's fucking awesome. So when you say clinically tight, is that really a thing like where your your vagina is like overly yes. tight? Really? I've it's like a condition? With a condition oh, that wow. makes your vagina super tight. Whoa. Is that a problem with like normal vaginal sex? Yes. So mm. I have to get like very lubricated for it, but I mean it makes for better sex and more yeah. pleasure for Anthony. So yeah, Anthony, definitely. Anthony, are you like <laughs> well endowed? Because I feel like you you might you might prefer a guy with a smaller penis. Am I right? <laughs> no, he's got a big I dick. I, I saw it on her own. Prefer bite. bigger penises. Why? Because you like the pain. Yes, I oh, like the you pain. are fucking crazy. <laughs> yeah. Zach said. He, Zach said. I don't know if you guys heard him. Zach said he's got a huge dick. I saw it on OnlyFans. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, thanks, Zach. <laughs> Holy shit! This is great. Oh my god. <sighs> Wow. Well, I really don't know what else to say to you guys. I feel like you guys are doing the OnlyFans wrong. Are you just making specialized fetish videos? Because I feel like if you made more general videos, you weren't. Or do you sell every video, or do you make general content for people to subscribe monthly to as well? I make general content. I Good. do masturbation, Good. regular set, Great. hardcore. It's yeah. so good. Hmm. So let's give a shout out. What is the what is the OnlyFans? Lucia underscore L-U. There it is, guys. Is. Zach's on there right now. What kind of stuff do you see, Zach? <laughs> Zach. Well, I mean, it, it's pretty vanilla considering. Considering uh, that. Zach, <laughs> you're from today. Like an hour ago. Uh, yeah. Um, something. <laughs> her laying on a towel. Spread legs. Uh, Why? Go ahead. <laughs> Eggs coming out. Something, something in her vagina. I gotta tell you, I think pooping is weirder than the egg and the vag. Just for I kind of feel the really? same way. Yeah, yeah. The, pooping, the pooping is way weirder Poop than for egg. me is like that's hype. Yeah. Do you play with it? Do you smell it? Like, what do you do with I feel it? Like you could charge more for the poop. Yeah. I play in it, smell it, touch it, like. That's everything anything you can think of i agree i feel like 300 you guys yeah are, you should that you're cutting yourself way you're short, short, dude. Yourself way short. Yeah. yeah i think you could charge more. well consider i like it it's not too much of like a chore to do yeah but, but you've got something that I it charge more. <laughs> <laughs> did you guys hear that i think there's someone in africa that uh, would like to make a request oh uh, <laughs> this one is eating <laughs> the poop all all over the place. yeah we're sending him zach go ahead what is he saying to eat the poo poo! Yeah. <laughs> he wants you to eat the poo poo. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> so, one of the things they do is called eno leaking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? I don't know if uh, Zach's soundboard goes into Discord, oh. unfortunately, so they might not be able to Oh, you guys hear can't that. hear it. Oh, you hear it yeah. on the stream. Is there any other question? I mean, I feel like I have a million things to ask you guys. <laughs> ask me anything. I'm so open, I'll answer anything. No, I see that. I just I don't want to leave any <laughs> stone unturned. When did you first realize that you were like such a f sexual uh, uh, deviant? Oh, I was working on a farm at my aunt's farm when I was like 14, and I got my toe stuck in a mouse trap, and it hurt really bad, but I liked it, so I kept doing it <laughs> and putting my hands in it, and oh I liked it. God. And then one day I got it and put it on my clit. And it snapped, and I like squirted. Like what? I don't know. It made you <laughs> orgasm. Yeah. Cool, man. <laughs> yes. Holy shit! But like, what? So obviously, this is triggered by childhood stuff. Like, do you have some kind of direct line where you're like, were you? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you have. Yeah, I, maybe maybe it's not the right time to go into all that. Yeah, yeah. but but that's fine. Yeah, I understand. <laughs> 
Holy shit. Wow. The mousetrap story is pretty epic. That's pretty epic. So the first time you had sex, did you freak out your the guy who you first slept with? Or, like, when did you start <laughs> introducing this in the bedroom? So nothing, like, he was very vanilla. He had a micro penis. So, like, oh, nothing. Wow. Yeah, nothing felt like how I wanted it. So we broke up, and then I married my husband because of my strict household. Um, I couldn't really have premarital sex. So, oh, like, with course. my husband... By the way, yeah. I just have to say, it's always the girls who can't have premarital sex that end up putting mousetraps <laughs> on their vagina and squirting. Really, Ethan? Why? Let's not make... I think um, that's a good generalization. Yeah. Based on what? <laughs> I feel like that's a really good generalization. Okay, based, on all, based on your research? But it's like, if you prohibit people from having sex, they're going to end up being freaks. No, I agree. I agree with that. I agree with that. I agree with that. All right. I just want to give a shout out to the girls who didn't end up being freaks. They all are. They, they end up having like <laughs> anal sex and shit. It's crazy what they do. <laughs> you got to let the bull free, man. Oh, so, so your husband is only the second man you've been with? Yes. Interesting. Penetration. So, the, Penetration. so what was it like a, you guys, you guys were like, like, was it a set up marriage or you were just like boyfriend and girlfriend, but you have to get married? We were boyfriend and girlfriend, but had to get married. Okay. So I couldn't, like, hold back my sexual intentions with him because I knew he had such a big wiener that, like, <laughs> I wanted it so bad. So we got married in the first six months. We Whoa. started dating. So you're like, fuck this. I'm just going to marry this. Guy. <laughs> so That's sexy. crazy. That's yeah, really good luck that you guys are both <laughs> down to, like, do all this stuff. So God bless. Well, guys, I bless your marriage. I pop a bless your marriage, and I wish you all a fruitful and happy career. And uh, thank you for sharing your story with us. And uh, God bless, man. Yeah. Thank Thanks, you guys. so much. <laughs> thank you, guys. Zach, are you going to be... Yeah. Are, I love it. We love it. Zach, are you going to be putting in any requests with them? <laughs> <laughs> Zach, what are you thinking about requesting? I mean, the, the fucking egg story is fucking crazy, man. I Dude, mean, I, 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 the pooping is way worse than <laughs> it, that shit. I think I just want to see that out of uh, curiosity. Dan's breathing heavily. What did you think about that call, Dan? I loved it. No, it's, it's, no I, I mean, what the fuck, dude? But she I said, loved it. No, she said I, she made yeah, it. I hope she's making. Guy. Yeah, you're, she's not getting paid enough. I agree. I, not I, even I, close. I, I, I've, I don't know if the person that I knew did any uh, uh, fecal stuff, but I, I was friends with a, a porn star a few years back, um, and All right. she did like the weird fetish stuff, like the special requests from people, like. Really bizarre. Remember once she told like she's I, there's a lot of people that are into balloon popping where it's like oh, a that's naked on YouTube. girl and she just pops balloons. Sweet. And so just like weird shit like that and um and yeah I think she made like a lot more than that but mm. the market's much more saturated nowadays with right. OnlyFans. Right. There's a lot. I don't of think there's many people on OnlyFans willing to shit. And by the way, well, she's really pretty know. too. Like I would. I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah. if I saw her, I wouldn't she's be gorgeous. like gorgeous. You like, know. I get what she's saying, that it's like, I like it, so I don't mind. And yeah, but come on, it's but, business. Yeah, I mean, Gotta, I think... Don't sell I, yourself short, right, Eli? You guys should right. jack up those prices, in my opinion. I think you could be making more. Damn, that's crazy. Dan has been fantastic. <laughs> what? A, what, a, what? I mean, dude, true love does exist. I mean, there's someone out there for everybody. Yeah. And, like, the fact that they, like, found each other and in this conservative family where they had to get married and all this, I mean, damn. Love they're they're excommunicated ex now for sure, though. After that call, <laughs> I bless them. The Pope, uh, the Pope uh, says, Ish, "I don't think so." The Pope probably liked her. The Pope, <laughs> the Pope liked her ass. <laughs> <on his name. laughs> Man, so interesting. I mean, the poop thing is fucking crazy. So you guys want damn this is like a this episode is just pure deviance. So let's talk about this fucking <laughs> Sally Youngblood on TikTok, aka Teddy Bear Love. This is just a TikTok account, so it's really not weird. Okay. I mean it is, but it's like out there. TikTok has deemed this shit like cool. So Sally lives with her husband, daughter, and son-in-law. She makes content and often hints at her having a sexual relationship with both her husband and son-in-law. Many of the comments in Sally's videos speculate that the son-in-law and husband are being held captive. Fascinating. <laughs> we have a curated... Are uh, those, like, serious 
Or like, or does like when people say Eli is being held captive? Why don't you be the judge? I yeah, I'm fully convinced they have someone locked in the basement. What happened in there? <laughs> Whoa! I don't know. <laughs> you must be a bad boy. That's what happens when you're a bad husband. You get yeah. put in the kennel. Say hi. Hi. There's Pete in my basement. Dorito. <laughs> Wait, and who's that? That's the daughter, I believe. Oh, no. That's There's the a daughter fuck. involved? Yeah. Hi, Nate. Hi. Nah, you're a bad boy. Look at me. What you doing? You're kind of cute. Go back in the kennel. You're a bad boy. That's what bad husbands do. They get put in the kennel. Why is the daughter okay, participating? Okay, come on yeah. out now. Say hi, guys. Say hi to your sister and brother. Yeah, you know, I, once again, I got to say, this is why TikTok is the best platform in the game. <laughs> because you just never know what you're going to find when you scroll. Oh, my God. It's the best. Why is the daughter involved? So here's another one called Candy Shop. It has copyrighted music, Dan. Beware. So here, this is the couple. This isn't the son-in-law, right? This is the couple. Yeah. You know. Yeah, that's everybody, dun, knows dun, that song. Dun, dun. everybody knows that song. Dun, 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 dun. So they're sharing a lolly. Oh, you're playing Deliverance. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 dun, 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 dun. The dog wants a lick, bruh. Damn, dude. So this is TikTok, bruh. Da, da, dun, 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 dun. Watermelon bikini time. Also, it's copyrighted music. Oh, Lord, help me, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. So is this her son in law? What? Uh, yes. I mean, why? What in the fuck? Why does he look like. What is going on here? There's a lot going on here. There's a lot going yeah! on. What's. Oh my Bro, God. I got it. Let's get out of here. Oh my God. <laughs> so here's one called Threesome. <laughs> so this is. I think, I, I think this one showed up on my feed. It was the. Or maybe some, who, who, someone found this on their feed and sent it. I did. Yeah, I so Maybe. this yeah. is the magic of TikTok. This shows up on your feed. I don't get the weird stuff. I get all I awesome. barely open TikTok. Is there nothing I, can do? I made a new page just for the weird stuff. My page is all weird stuff, bro. So <laughs> It's a song about a threesome. Oh, I mean, I have to say that he doesn't look related. Like, mm -hmm. this is his son? No, he's not. Uh, so, uh, no, no, no. So who are these people? It's the daughter's, like, boyfriend. Or, yes. or husband or something. Oh, uh, wow. Is yeah. this what goes on out there? <laughs> this is what goes on out there <laughs> outside of the big city. <laughs> that... You better turn that off. We're going to get claimed for that shit, Zach. I'm not trying to fucking lose my pants for some damn white trash this is joke. Disgusting. The and dog Zach is. Say, I think the dog might be part of this uh, love circle, too. Because look at the dog. Oh, my fucking Christ on a stick. <laughs> dooby, dooby, doo. Guy explains to haters. Uh, oh, Jesus, dude, this shit is so wild. Shirts at all, so why does it matter to you? It's dude, this guy's really literally the dude from uh, Trailer Park Boys who's never wearing a shirt. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Randy. Yeah. <laughs> why does it matter if we don't have shirts on? I don't even have any shirts at all, so why does it matter to you? It's not. It's really none of your business. Don't own shirts. <laughs> to all the haters. Oh, oh what a god. What, what, what's the big deal? Because we don't have no shirt on. What's in his oh, hand? You don't go without your shirt on? What in the fuck is he eating? Yeah. <laughs> what is this house? <laughs> Dude, I love it, bro. <laughs> you gotta love it, man. These people are just out there living their life. And putting it on TikTok for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, these guys right here you're looking at, Technically? they go around naked too sometimes in the house. Woohoo! <laughs> Woohoo! Hi, Poochie. Hi, Poochie. The fuck all the haters. I really want to know God. what he's eating more than anything. Really? God, I'm the last thing on my so mind. hungry. <laughs> Child Protective Services. Uh oh. What do we got? Coach Child Protective Coach Child Protective Services. Edward? Go ahead. Call them. They're not going to do anything, anyways. Okay, if you want to call Child Texas Service on us, go right ahead. There are Child no Texas? kids involved, and if there is kids involved, that's really none of your business because there's nothing going on legal in this house for Child Texas Service to do anything to Child my kids in this house. 
So legally, yes, we do have kids in this house. But Did it get hot? I got a lot of, I got hairy legs. Is it a tactical thing we're sending? videos, you're going to call child tech to service. Oh my God, let's do it. Call them, bitch. Hurry up. Hater. Child detective. It's a tactical team. What I love is that Sally's feeding them the lines, and they're trying to remember what their lines are. Yeah. Some like, Shakespeare like, show. Right here. I think these guys might be like low IQ. Not like I mean, I mean that with peace and love, but like clinically low IQ. You know what I mean? Like, Dull. Yeah. Because like. Go ahead, and call them. They're not gonna do anything anyway. Like high pitch. He's like, your turn. <laughs> okay, if you want to call child detective service on us, I mean, I mean, I mean, she's saying child detective service <laughs> continually. That, 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 that. I mean, it's even like in the text. Oh, yeah, the spelling there. But if something threw me off. She says, "There's no kids involved." As even if there were, it's none of your business. <laughs> no, I didn't catch that. Yeah, watch this. Oh, no. There are no kids involved, and if there is kids involved. That's really none of your business because there's nothing none of your going on legal in this house. She says there's nothing, nothing going on legal. legal. <laughs> oh, man. Fuck, uh, these people are wild. Tick only on TikTok, folks. Yeah. Man, there's a whole wide crazy world out there, bro. You know those people voted Trump. I'm just saying. Sorry. I'm just saying you know they we all voted no Trump. We said no holiday. I'm just saying. This is, I'm just telling you. I know it. Stop! Those people are mad Stop! at for Stop! sure. Okay. All right. I voted Trump. Okay. <laughs> Stop. You know they have a MAGA sign under law. That's all I'm saying. Stop. I'm done. They progressively get worse. I'm the president Let's... of the United States. Don't ever talk to the oh, president. Geez. Okay. Sorry, oh, Donald. Sorry. I know. I said I wouldn't talk about it. I'm no, sorry, she... Donald. All right. You are holding me as captain. You are 100% holding the poor, poor man hostage. Oh, yes, sir. I am holding him as cabbage. See, this motherfucker holding him as cabbage. Wait, Look wait, wait. It. Stop. These people are fucking serious. This is literally like Trailer Park Boys, where they mispronounce everything. They call them dumps. Cappage? This. They call I'm them dumps. him as Cappage. Ha 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 ha, everyone. All the haters out there, look at this. And look how smiley he can smile, too. He's my son-in-law. Fuck all the haters. Oh my no, God. she is not holding me as captage. Oh, yes, sir, I am holding him as captage. Yeah, this shit is a lie. Uh, and then, oh, there's hey, a whole Dan, bunch of that's not bad, huh? Trump likes the family dynamic. <laughs> oh my god, why do you want to know? Man. Oh my, oh my god, why do you want to know so much about my life? Who the hell he is? Who the hell he is? If you really want to know, oh my god, this is my son in law who is married to my daughter. If you really want to know. Oh my god, I touched his chest. This one is my husband. So you know, I fuck him if you really want to know. <laughs> I don't fuck this one. So get a life, bitch. Okay. Oh I'm god. actually glad that she cleared that oh, up. Yeah. I believe her. Yeah. There's no reason to lie. Uh, she wouldn't tell the truth, I feel. Oh, you didn't AB disagree. You don't buy it? Uh, wait till you get to the last three videos. Okay, all right. <laughs> More evidence coming. <laughs> so here's this one has music, but let's see. Step cabbage. What's the matter with the <laughs> um, she's right. See, they're only fans. Oh, oh man, I don't think you can even handle that, Zach. <laughs> I love how the dogs are always involved. I love the I love dogs. Why is she doing this? What do we make of this? Hmm. How many views does this have? Not a lot. It had like a, th a few hundred likes. Oh God. I don't know. Sally hates her daughter-in-law. Wait, we always, we do. wait, isn't her daughter-in-law her daughter? No, no her daughter-in-law is with her son, and That's she keeps no saying stuff like, I can't wait for this bitch to die. One thing <laughs> I can't wait for my can my son to break up with That's her. Notes, bitch. Wait, I thought she There's has a daughter. One... She, I guess, she also has a kid. son. So this has 300 likes, so, I mean, it has very little views. This is definitely... 300 is kind deep, of a lot. Deep uh, TikTok. I mean, it's got like a thousand views, probably, you know what I mean? I have a lot for for cabbage. take from me. That's notes, bitch. There's only one thing a bitch can take from. I don't get it. <laughs> she hates her daughter. -in -law. <laughs> Sally records her daughter giving her son-in-law hickeys. Gross. Oh, uh, that's disgusting. Buckle up. Yeah, it's very disgusting, you little. Keep going. Oh. oh yeah. 
Uh, Thought he had no shirts. Yeah, you liar. Wait, who is giving him that? I can't. That's the daughter. I can't. That's Sally's daughter giving her husband. No, her son. Giving Sally's husband. I mean, Sally's daughter. I'm. <laughs> Come on. Are, these two are a couple. Yes. Okay. That's his. We, we that's think her so. son-in-law. That's her son-in-law. Yeah. And her, yes. Correct. Exactly. Yes. That was disgusting. There's a lot of these. Now, a lot of these were too graphic to show. Is that right? Whoa. Yeah, there were some very disturbing things that. Yeah, don't go to the channel. Like the thumbnails. Don't go to the channel. <laughs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> so I had to mute because there's music, but this guy looks different than the guy who was in the other videos. I think that's why there was that video of her clarifying. It's like, why is he thumbing up, like, watching this the kids? This is so weird. Yeah, someone's locked in the basement, 100%. Uh, <laughs> I want to go there yeah, for yeah, Thanksgiving yeah. next year. Go ahead, you'll never come back. <laughs> yeah, they take maybe make quick work of your ass. We see your ass in their TikToks, <laughs> all like zombied out. Yes. Lobotomized. Ain't nothing wrong. Ain't nothing wrong with me being in my video. I don't own any shirts. You'd be like, I don't own any shirts. <laughs> Walking around topless. <laughs> you'll have an excuse, Zach, to not wear a Look shirt. Nipple clamps on my. <laughs> Nothing wrong with it. Oh, she posted a. Uh... Bro, I can't. I, I just I can't. This. What's with all this? Stuff? They're like into Bro, hickeys. It's... They're all covered in hickeys. This is. But I want to read that message that they wrote. I'm dead. Uh -huh. I'm done. Oh, I almost got it. Hang on. Don't you want to know what's on the message? No. I do. Oh, it's slower now. How odd. Yeah, that was weird. We're waiting for the uh, the. Here we go. Here we go. Someone thinks it's kind of funny to report my videos and my pictures. Let me tell you something. I know who's doing it. <laughs> if it keeps on going, I'm going to whip someone's ass, and I'll do a damn good job of it. You think jail scares me? Jail. If you think jail scares me, jail don't fucking scare me at all. I want to go be in jail for a day, maybe three days till I get bailed out. I guarantee you I'll make sure you throw the first punch. So you'll go to jail too. And I'll just use self-defense so I won't go to jail. So quit reporting my fucking pictures, you stupid C-word. <laughs> hmm. Might be talking to you, Eli. <laughs> How long have we been going? I feel like we peaked. <laughs> uh, almost two hours. We're at an hour All right, we got to call it off. Damn, we had so much Are content, too. Are we going to stop on this shitty note? What else you want? I mean, I got to, I have a ton of stuff <laughs> we here, can't, I'm getting we famished. We can stop on the legendary note. What's yeah. that? Oh, the the, uh, the little Copeland thing that we found. Yes. You guys should definitely okay, watch that. Okay, where's that one? Uh, here, I'll highlight it. It's, um... I mean, how are you going to bury it and... It's right here. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? What? Gotta so you guys know there. the top one or the bottom one? The top one. So you guys know Copeland. We talked about him. He's the guy who says, you know... Oh my God! <laughs> well, you recognize him. So, Jesus is your source. so the story is, I guess he used to make m Christian movies. Yeah, he's an actor in several <laughs> movies, and this is part of a uh, series of films uh, that he plays a character named uh, I think it was uh, Daniel Lyon is the name of his character. Yeah, let's pa watch Pastor Daniel Lyon, and it's uh, part of the. Um, uh, these movies are called Commander Kelly and the Super Kids Armor of Light. It's part of the Super Kids series. Love you, series. God! Yeah. Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! So with that little bit of All uh, things background, are possible uh, with God. Let's take so. a look. <laughs> I bind you, Satan. That? In the name. Oh. Jesus. Uh oh. <laughs> now get out of my way. So there's some dude with a gun pointing at him. Now he's on a motorcycle, speeding towards the guy with the gun. Quite a show off here. Oh, shot a bolt of lightning at him. <laughs> It was absorbed by the motorcycle. By the power of Jesus. Christ is compelling him. There's like a hologram of an uh, angel with two blades. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Holy shit. What happened? Did he get him? Oh, he pulled right up to him. He's scared. It's on the ground. <laughs> Uh, 
you through? Are you thrown? Get on your knees in the presence of the prophet of God. Oh, he forgives them. He's telling him to pray. I receive you, Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. Their forehead. Ten percent. Their forehead to forehead. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. Amen. <laughs> He's like, I forgive you, wow. Jesus. And right now, and right now, if you go to copeland.com, you can get thirty percent off Silver Solution, which cures COVID. Receive you, Lord Jesus. Will you accept the the Silver Solution that cures all viruses? I receive you, Lord Jesus. Come into my heart. Come into my That's heart. That's pretty epic. <laughs> that was a very peaceful uh, conclusion. Resolution to yeah. that conflict, yeah. yeah. He seems to be some sort of um, Terminator-like character. Is this you, But he's like a god Why do you have Terminator. the Pepe? Elo has a Pepe. <laughs> I have no idea. I was like, who the fuck is this? I thought some random weirdo was messaging. Dan sets this up. Why is it called K... Why is it called... Dan? Puff? It's called... E <laughs> oh, it's and it's Nega Ela. It's what Nega Ela. <laughs> it says K H puffed that shit. It's a picture of Pepe the Frog with money. What is this? I don't know. It's Dan. There was, the background to that. Dan is goofing on me. No, I'm not goofing. <laughs> what is that? Sure. There, there was uh, a few months ago. Uh, there was a yeah, um, a a group of people that were brigading the subreddit with a bunch of uh, hate speech and gore pictures, yeah, so and I we found that out that they. We found out that they were coordinating it all from a Discord channel, so I, I infiltrated their Discord channel. From Ela. Well, I think I was just using that computer or something. What is Nega Ela? It's like evil Ela. Neg <laughs> oh, so you're trying, so you're trying to go in as Nega Ela to infiltrate? Well, that that wasn't the, the name that I used was whatever the fuck I don't know. Did you get any intel? It's pretty funny. Yeah, actually. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Dan. <laughs> Thank you. Who knew you were undercover? <laughs> Dude, I'm I'm fighting I'm fighting I'm fighting behind the scenes. All right, well, Cameron. So there's, the there's no um. Everyone's typing. Everyone's Cameron. saying Cameron make Ethan laugh. Right? Yeah, that's what I was yes. trying to get at. I, I, you guys said this guy Cameron was trying it? to get on. How so do we do? Okay, I'm put, is this Cam? Like Cam Grants? No, it's not Cam Grants. I You've sent got a him. About it. Here, it's better be I'll fucking. Him bring him on, God you. damn it! Bring him on. So thank you to all of our members, by the way. I didn't get a chance to thank all of you. Thank you to the members who make this show possible. You help and support us so much. You give thank us. You, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Is that Cameron? This guy that, donated. That is. Oh, yeah. hey. Uh, sorry. This guy donated $10. No, I'm, I'm sorry. Do your thing. <laughs> Go ahead, Hila. <laughs> He's saying, I'm broke. Now, please play fire safety. Oh, that poor guy. You know what, Cameron? Before I forget, you just stand by. I got to play the fire safety video for this poor guy. No worries. Can no you worries. turn him down a little bit, Dan? He's like fucking sure. crazy. Turkish fire safety video. I'll just dog. shut up. Yeah. Thank you, Cameron. We'll get to you in a moment. With I appreciate you. Peace and love. I love you. I love you. Okay. Yeah, I love you too, buddy. Okay, so Turkish fire safety video gone wrong. I, mean, I don't know what else to type it. Yep, number one. Inappropriate for some users? Pff, come on. Not for us. This is for you, dude. I'm sorry I missed it. I owe you this. I owe you this so much. So. Watch a fire safety exhibition. The first demonstration doesn't go so well. Who do you think's in that suit? Like, if there was someone from the H3 universe, who would it be in that suit? Joey Solids. You think Joey? <laughs> you think Joey's that no, big of a fuck up? <laughs> Nobody gets hurt. That's my man. Not Praise yet. Jesus. <laughs> Fuck yeah. You gotta turn off the sound because it gets too serious, you know what I mean? Dude, this guy, this was a political assassination. <laughs> like, fuck you. <laughs> I love it. Man, this is the worst firefighter ever. Like, who... Bro, you are the worst person in the, at that job of all time. <laughs> God. Such an anime moment. Like. <sighs> this is so awesome. I mean, it's so awesome. So there you have it. Is this the same guy putting it out? I'd be like, dude, get, just get out of here, bro. You're done. <laughs> uh, we love it. All I right. like it, buddy. So back to Cameron. How y'all doing? Okay, Cameron, 
you've been donating all day to try to do yeah. a. Get, how much have you donated? Yeah, man. I'm. I think I donated like 250, but what? it's 250 oh Canadian. Yeah, but it's 250 Canadian dollars, so it's more like I don't know, ten dollars American. No. So. Okay, hold on. No. Let me do this. Two, did 250 God, Canadian to USA. Here's what's on the stake for you. That's 200 bucks. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're playing today okay, for 200 bad. bucks. Okay, bad. so you can go. You can break even if you make me laugh. Bro, I don't even want the money, but I just want to make you laugh. No, I mean, listen, we've got to put it on stake. Are you rich or something? How you got 250 bucks to throw at me? Uh, I'm not. I mean, I do okay for myself. Good for you. That's great. Thank you. But I want to, I want to make uh, you I just whole. want to pump your tires real quick. Um, you are my generation's Howard Stern, in my opinion. Oh. Is that poking? What does poking yeah. the tires mean? That sounds no, like a bad thing. Tires, pump your oh, tires. Pump. I was like, your oh. tires. pump your tires. You know, he's pumping you up. Loud, you know? Just, just want to give you a flat tire real quick. Yeah, like, poke my tires. <laughs> Thank you for saying that, dude. No, you really think yeah, that, I huh? I used to like, drive uh, with my dad. My dad was a traveling salesman. We used to always listen to Howard Stern oh. when I was younger. And then now I'm a drive. Well, I was a traveling salesman until covid um but yeah i always listen to your podcast so i have like 10 hour drive sometimes just throw them on and yeah you guys all remind me of like the howard stern crew so oh. just thought i'd pump you guys up a little bit thank you thank, thank you so much for great. saying thank that man you, i appreciate that a lot thank you love you a lot what do, what are you selling yeah what do you sell <laughs> i sell meat meat oh that's cool i sell meat i sell yeah it's yearly food orders so it's uh, like uh that's good business yeah, so people huh? want to go to the grocery store so i mean my job's been pretty awesome sure. since covid because now i don't have to drive and i can do it all over zoom or the phone and huh. you know if no I, sometimes i would drive two hours and no one would be home for my call so now it's just people don't pick up it is what it is so so when you're not you're selling food to like restaurants or individuals no homes, yeah, just people. Oh. Just uh, like, that's good yeah, money. So they huh? don't want to go to the grocery store. Yeah, it's not bad. It's uh, I mean, I work for my dad, so he oh, okay. uh, he pays me a, a fairly enough. But <laughs> he uh, <laughs> nope. shout out Barry, but yeah. <laughs> wow, that's so interesting. Hmm. Yeah, it's it's AAA all the way around Canadian some meat. meat, baby. How can I buy some? Oh. Can I buy some meat from you? Or is it? Did you deliver to the United States? Man, I'll send it to you for free. No, 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 no. We meat. ride for the nation. Mm -hmm. But can I buy meat <laughs> from you from USA? I I think yeah, we can send it down. Let's yeah, get like, some meat. We'll do. We'll let's do a meat review. Dan, get his right, details. Let's buy some fucking meat from this man. Good stuff. What's your commission? <laughs> uh, my commission. I it's it's around like 10, 15 percent. Oh, just that's depending that's good. on. That's uh, a good commission. Depending on what, like I said, what my dad wants to do. My dad's a very funny guy. I have another funny story about like how I became a salesman and like my dad gypped me on my commission. And it's a funny story. I always we tell the I mean, We don't use gyp and stuff. No, remember that. <laughs> the commission, like I sold a, my first food order and I didn't know what I was doing. And the commission was like 400 bucks. And like my dad's like, oh yeah, I'll even give you the commission. And I didn't know what it was at the time. I was like, oh my God. And then one day we were at Walmart and I was like, oh, I need a new Xbox controller. He's like, you know what? I'll give you that instead of the commission. Oh, and then oh I was dad. Like, oh, sick. <laughs> That's oh my some God. shit my dad would do. Um, a whole <laughs> Xbox controller for an hour's worth of work. Oh my God. Oh. And then later on, I found out that, you know, he made like three. 360 bucks off. Here, 340 yeah, bucks my dad. Off. My dad would do my the same thing. My dad's a businessman. <laughs> the sell is pressing. He hustled you. So well, okay, so we, so we're, so here's the deal. We're gonna play, make Ethan laugh. You're very confident, okay. obviously. You've been donating a lot of money. If you make me laugh, you get all the money back. This is a big gamble. Two hundred dollars U.S. coming to you, and a oh big ass, God. and a meat order to boot. <laughs> and a meat order Just to boot. Let's boot. go. Okay, Cameron, All right, you know so, the rules. So it's, make, seconds, right? it's make Ethan oh, laugh God. when you I'll hear the bell ring. When you make when you hear the bell ring, you have sixty seconds to make me laugh. Are you ready and understand the rules? Okay. I'm I'm ready. Okay, Cameron. All right, I'll count Whenever you. Whenever you're ready. Here, go ahead, Dan. Here we go. In three, two, one, go. Okay, so it's my fiance's and I first date. We met on Tinder. Uh, we went on our date. We went back to my place and we were in bed. Things were getting a little bit frisky. And she says to me, you know, I want to go further with you, but I don't fuck guys unless I'm dating them. So she's like, I'll blow you. I'm like, okay, I'm down. So she does that. It gets a little bit frisky again. She, it's like, I same thing, I'll, but I'll blow you. So I'm like, okay, so she blows me again. And then she's like, okay, 
this third time is happening. She says, okay, I want like, you know what? I'm like, I want to fuck you. And I'm like, okay, well, like, you know what? Why don't we date? Well, we're boyfriend and girlfriend now. So we have sex. About a year later, we're just casually talking about people that we've had sex with before. And I go, yeah, this one time I, I like met up with this girl on Tinder. She blew me twice and fucked me. She, my fiance looked at me with the most disgusted face and was like, wow, Cameron, what a whore. And I just looked back at her and I said, Abby, that was you. <laughs> <laughs> he got you. So, yeah, that's yeah, good. That's it. And that was a minute. But you so you, you, right you managed to do it in time. Well so done. how did she react when oh she realized God. that it was her? It's, she had a great, she responded great to it. She couldn't believe it. She's like, oh my fucking God, that was me. That's funny. Well, but, you know what? Yeah, she's, you got my, she's me. my Tinderella. 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 Yeah. <laughs> you know what, dude? You formatted that great. Yeah, that you told was it great. That was a great delivery. It's my, it's my salesmanship. You know, I can pitch. Right. There you go. Yeah, good pitch. <laughs> that was a good one, man. And I'll tell you what, you did Just not. Just so you know, I'm wearing my, uh, Teddy Fresh Rip and Dip hoodie, the first Oh, oh hell yeah. Hey, hey. yeah. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Fan right Appreciate there. the support. Well, hell, yeah. tell you what, that 250 you donated, it. it's coming right back to you, as well as some, well, thank you. some, some that. meat that I'm going to fucking order from your ass. Order. You tell Dan how Charlie to order, and we'll, we'll buy some meat from you. <laughs> or one of these guys is already talking to him. Get, okay, get, yeah. get, get all that meat. info. Everybody yeah, get your meat, meat orders yeah. in. Get your meat orders. All right, Cameron. Dan will... Dan will get your PayPal details. Yeah, we'll, we'll get you hooked up. Thanks, awesome. buddy. Thanks. And thanks for the laugh, thanks too. For the laugh. Love you guys thanks so for the laugh. Much. Wish you guys Appreciate you. Say the hi best to Tinderella. And, um, yeah, hopefully everything's yeah, cool. Yeah, our best to Tinderella. <laughs> Say hi to Theodore. Yeah, Thank well, you. thanks, well buddy. Appreciate thanks. you. Take care. Mm, Cameron. Cameron's a great one. Yep. He, get, he came Please. in, he pumped my tires, mm -hmm. he made me laugh. He knew yeah. how to work the crowd. He knows how to tell a story. <laughs> He's got the salesman pitch, for sure. We like Cameron. Cameron's a good one. All right, guys, that's the show, eh? I yeah, mean, what I think more so. is there to say? Going. I'm starving. Hi, Joe. That was fun, eh? Come oh, on. I mean, we put on a pretty good show here. We did all right today. We yeah, did all right. We put on a good show. You know? Um, I'm broke, and I really want to see you look at Sean Valentino, the womanizer. I think it's Who's good that? material. Who's Sean Valentino? Never heard we'll of it. We'll look into that for next week. We'll Maybe look into, look into it. Sean Valentino, we'll put it on the, the list. The womanizer. Got it. We got it. Zach, we, we should it. should we request a video from that OnlyFans girl where it's like something we could show on the show, but like it's not super sexual, but it's weird enough that we, you know what I mean? Is that yeah, funny? I mean that, that that could be cool. I'll reach out to her. What anything in particular? I'm not sure. It'd be hard to think of something we could show on the show that's like funny. weird and wild, but not super sexual. Yeah, right? yeah. So no poop. Well, I don't think we could show poop, Zach. Yeah. No. <laughs> So, I'm thinking not. Let's pass on that. Well, we can think about it. Wow, okay. it's been a quite a show. I've I've thought it was. I had a lot of fun. Thank you guys all for yeah. joining. Thank you to all of our members who join and support the nation. But really, everybody that watches, everybody foot supports soldiers. us. The foot soldiers are out there. The foot militia. Thank you, thank you. We're on, boy. The Come try to take our guns. The we I do like Wiki Fleet. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I'm meeting outside Wiki Feed headquarters. The vote, the vote was rigged, boys. <laughs> let me check as we wrap it up. Let me check Charlie's rating. Wiki feed Charlie White. <laughs> One last check. <laughs> yeah. Look, he may have apologized, but we don't forget. Oh, poor guy. He's down to four stars. Oh, no. Oh, you know, shit. Listen, fo the Fooper Trooper Nation. We forgive, but we most definitely don't forget. I mean, war is not pretty. You know? War ain't pretty, man. And sometimes you got to do everything you can to win. 6.5. Oh, yeah. We want to give a shout out to our Facebook page. Our H3 Podcast Facebook page. We're trying to grow the show over there. Because you know all these boomer-ass fucking morons use Facebook. And trying to compete with all that dumb shit like SoFlo. So you don't have to... Just like, just go like hey, the boomer. page and like like and share our videos. So that I all these dumb fucking boomers I wonder what he would think about this that. as a sales pitch. You know? Who? The okay, camera boomer. that we just had on the call. Oh. It's probably a good sales pitch, I feel like. I mean, let's be honest. I hate Facebook, but... It's good. People, you know, it works for reaching people. So just go like, follow it and like and share the videos. We're trying to grow it. And I mean, yeah, it's it, you guys rule. And I'm just trying to trying to hack the system so we can get these boomer fucking morons to watch our dumb podcast. You know what I mean? 
stupid ass dumb Facebook. But yeah, okay, boomer. We only have eight thousand followers, so we have poor um, love. Twenty thousand people watching right now. So yeah, can, come on, we guys. can double that right now. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's our that's our strategy. You know, love. Uh, out, HD out of context. Another fan of the show. Great guy. He's such a great guy. He lives in Sweden, but we hired him full time to do our social media. And he's so good. He's he's such a great guy. He's spamming the chat right now with that link. He's making he, it so easy for you. Just click he, that link. Yeah, he's managing our Facebook page and our Instagram. He's been doing a really good job. So I'm trying to recognize his his hard yes. work. Yes, love is the is More the silent that. partner in this uh, yeah. endeavor. He's the silent beetle, I believe. They they were. You're right. Yeah. He's he's Epstein. He's the. He's the uh, the Pete Best, perhaps. He's the what? Pete Best Pete has gotten Best. kicked out, right? Um, Nicole asked, would you guys ever do a Your Mom House lifestyle podcast where we can pay to watch it and you review less YouTube-friendly clips? I mean, I don't think that I could deliver a good enough show where I would feel justified pay charging people money. Yeah, I don't know. It's a, I think it works, works great for Christina and Tom because it's so... Like, they go all the way. They do a really good job in planning and getting all this stuff, but I, I, I don't know. I've got... Maybe when we feel, when it feels right. I don't know. Yeah, probably It's not. an interesting idea. I don't, I don't want to charge you guys. You know what I mean? And again, once we're out of the COVID era and we're in a new studio, we're going to have a lot of more opportunities. We're going to have, like, a big stage. We could True. potentially have musical guests. We could, like, put on something that maybe would be worthy of that. Um, maybe. Well, guys, that about wraps it up. Have a great weekend. Have a great, great weekend. Please stay safe. Stay God blessed. Stay foot nation. Stay on wick. Stay foot nation. Stay foot nation. Dude, Charlie's gonna freak when he sees that wiki hat. <laughs> Signed by us. So much shit. I want to awesome. smell feet. <laughs> all right, guys, we love you. All right, take care. We'll see you on uh, Monday. We're coming hard next week. I think we're gonna have four four episodes next week. Uh -huh. uh, oh, I we have guess contra right. point right. on Monday. Yeah, right. right. Friendmies Tuesday. Yes. Do we have a content court next week, AB? We should, right? Yeah. Yes, we do. Look at you. So Dude, productive. four episodes. We're back, baby. Come on. H3 Podcast forever. <laughs> Swipe whistle agrees. <laughs> All right, guys. See ya. Love you. Ta -ta. Take care. Ta -ta. Ta -ta. Ta -ta. You're listening to the HB podcast, who we got on the scene. Could it be Papa Shoe Nice or Bill Delphine. We talking front wipe or back wife. What you gon' do with me then? Enough and the whole damn crew. Goose and gaps with all the guests you'll see. The best podcast in the world. Take it from me, JC. Over chair, HB baby. We podcasting now.